Man, it's going to be a tough, that band there. It's going to be a little tough with the band. Yeah. Just I talk like really it. loud. I like a challenge. I like a challenge. <laughs> uh, hey, um, let's see. Ken, how long until we're live? Okay, <laughs> we, we are, are live. Well, thank you for uh, that notification. But uh, hello, Friday Harbor, and welcome to tonight's game between the Wolverines and South Whidbey Falcons. Yeah. Are we live or not? Are we live? <laughs> Are we, are we live or not? We are live. The live or is it memorized? We are live. All right. We are about 20 minutes from kickoff. I'm Mike Martin, and with me is John Volk, and we are live next to the band. And, uh, you know, uh, they're, they're playing some good songs. They're doing Crazy Train right now. They sound good. Yeah, they sound good. Um, I don't know. Is Friday Harbor going to have a band this year, John? Yeah, they were at the last game. Were they? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I you weren't was, there, though, were you? I think I was. I'm not sure. <laughs> anyway, uh, well, good to have the Wolverine band back. We are back at Wolverine Sports on Friday Harbor Tiny TV is presented by Browns Home Center, the island's only full-service building supply center. And we want to make sure that everybody thanks all of our sponsors. They have kept us on the air, John, for 12 years. I don't know if you realize that this is our 12th year. It's a long, a long journey there. Gotta yes, called call, call a lot of games. I've butchered a lot of names. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, you know, it, we could not be doing it uh, with, without uh, our great sponsors like Banner Bank, Blade, BladeResurrection.com. Blade Sharpening Service, Purple and Gold Booster Club, Fra Farmers Insurance and the Tammy Cotton Agency, American Legion, Friday Harbor Dentistry, Lemon Computers, Geyser Appliance Repair, Haley's Bar and Grill, Friday Harbor Electric, San Juan Surveying, Miller Drywall, Pacific Rim Insulation, Star Excavation and Septic, and Island Petroleum Services. And John, the last time these two teams met, it was a uh, Hail Mary Fest. Um, <laughs> Their, their quarterback uh, got into a little bit of trouble, and let's let's try to get his name. Um, Ryan Morgan got into a little bit of trouble, and when he did, he threw it to one of his six two six three six four defense. Uh, excuse me, receivers who who went for uh, a thirty one yard touchdown, a thirty three yard touchdown, and I think uh, another one was fifty six yards, yeah. and they were all under duress. And when you have uh, that height advantage, uh, it can make for a long night. Uh, the Wolverines, John, why don't you give us uh, the injury report? Because there are several Wolverines that are going, that are out there going to impact that passing game. Uh, so Jackson Waldron is out. He normally plays corner and wide receiver. Uh, Jeffrey Volk is out. He is the outside linebacker on the right side. Uh, Mason Smith is out. He was kind of thrown in at uh, offensive line on defensive line. And then uh, Steven Nicholson isn't quite ready yet. He's got a little shoulder thing. Okay. But, uh, they're coming along. So we'll get to the Island Petroleum Services starting lineups here in a little bit, uh, John. But, I mean, I, I, I don't know that either of us expected this kind of a, uh, of, a of an afternoon of football originally scheduled for a 5.30, 6.30 kickoff. It is scheduled for a 3.30 kickoff. The sun is still shining next week this time. We cannot yeah. expect that. I, know, I, don't, I wouldn't bet on it next week. Well, we're t we were talking about the first game of the season between these two, and it was kind of a – that was the first game. The first matchup of the year for both teams. First game for us, first game for them. You know, you had that first game jitters, I think. You see a lot of games anyway where what are you going to get? You know your position well. What kind of mistakes there were. And I thought for our team – uh, for the secondary, we still had a little mental mistakes. You know, I'm turning the wrong way. I'm not turning the right way. You know, we've had four more games since then. Those kind of problems kind of iron out. So I think what they took advantage of in the first game for secondary is going to be a big deal in this game necessarily. Um, we do have a different corner because Jackson's out. I think it's going to be uh, – where is it? I got the roster right here. Uh, it's going to be Graham. I don't know. Yeah, Graham Leary, I think, is going to fill in in this spot. He's a tall kid, so he'll match with the other tall kid they have. So I think, you know, that was our glaring problem in the first game, and if you can fix that, then it's a pretty even matchup. 
And and I think that the, the next week against Granite Falls was an identity making game. Yeah. Yeah. Um, turnover fest, but the Wolverines are chasing down a clear breakaway touchdown. Oh yeah, and the ball just goes choo. <laughs> well, no, what I'm talking about chasing oh, the other way. In the, yeah. f- in the yeah. fourth quarter, yeah, 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 he's yeah. chasing down. Uh, he's chasing down the ball. Yeah, the the they, ball carrier. They didn't let the play die. Yeah. Yeah. But they, they, they played four quarters, and we've seen that now uh, pretty much ever since then where they went up against a 1A school that was from Vancouver and yeah. uh, uh, Seton Catholic. Seton Catholic, yeah. And, uh, and Seton was able to – well, Friday Harbor was able to stay with them for the first half, but Seton wasn't able to stay with them for the second half. Correct. And that is the identity yeah. that I think we're going to see in this game tonight that is going to really kind of uh, – we'll, we'll see if the adjustments were made, how they adjust mentally, because physically the Wolverines are able to come at teams now for four quarters. Right, well, and the Seton Catholic game is a really good one to bring up because a passing team versus a running team. And when he gets to the shootout at the end of the game, the passing team wins almost 95% of the time. And the mad that they could come out and, and keep in that game running and the defense stepped up huge in that game, they were able to pull out that win versus a team that throws the ball a ton. So, All right, we are at South Whidbey High School. I don't know the name of the stadium, but it's a gorgeous uh, it's, we're actually into fall now. The season started in the summer. We are in fall under almost cloudless skies. The the trees over here, uh, there's some a fair amount of deciduous trees across from us, John. And um, I was expecting some bright fall colors, nope. but we're not really getting that uh, <laughs> just yet. Some of the some of the ones behind us, but. Anyway, it's it's a beautiful night for football. It's a natural grass field, uh, pretty good looking field. You know, th- there's been some rain in the last uh, last week or so, so the traction looks like is going to be very good. I walked across the softest one that you, I think you can really kind of dig your cleats yes. in and get that power run going with John Gust. Excuse me, not John Gustafson. Shout out to you, John, if you're listening. <laughs> uh, Chris Gustafson. Um, and name off the other, uh, uh, Connor Con- Haynes. Connor Haynes, Wiley McCutcheon, and then Pierce Klein. Those seem to be the four primary runners. Um, and then you got Nathan Posenjack, who subs in for Chris. So you got a lot of uh, a lot of rocks that the Wolverines can throw at uh, at the Falcons. So and Chris Gustafson is the big power back. He's probably the second biggest guy on the field for the Wolverines. I, I think so. I, I was I watched them run through. Uh, let's actually talk about another uh, uh, kind of new development on the roster for the Wolverines. Is they call him TJ. Um, we will call him Tim Jasper Erschman. <laughs> Erschman, our our, uh, our German exchange student. Yes, he is from Germany, and I went down and I asked him what how you I was like how do you say your name. And he looked at me with a blank stare like, what? <laughs> and so I said, the Eisensee. And, <laughs> and all of a sudden, his eyes lit up because somebody was speaking German to him. I don't know how long he's been here, but, you know, he, he now can have somebody speaking German, uh, you know. So uh, hopefully this, this game is getting back to Germany. Uh, it could. It's on the Internet. Yes, it is. So hopefully his parents will know about it. Don't know if it's been communicated, but. We, it's like 2 in the morning there, but. Hey, if my kid was playing, um, you know, uh, what? Get, get to watch the nine first. hours, nine hours away. I would certainly watch. And uh, guten Tag, oh, guten Morgen, jetzt uh, auf Deutschland, aber uh, here um, uh, USA, um, uh, South Whidbey. Es ist Friday Harbor versus South Whidbey. So there's a little bit of German for you. <laughs> um, I will try to maybe interpret a little bit. I don't know how well his parents speak, but I will uh, uh, give it a shot. Er, Erschmann, Erschmann uh, is number uh, number sipsish. Uh, er is a, uh, a junior in high school. <laughs> Okay, I can't think of what to say. Anyway, we are uh, live. We are 10 minutes from kickoff. 
And uh, we're going to look at our Farmers Insurance and the Tammy Cotton Agency keys to the game. And, uh, John, the very first key, we kind of touched on it a little bit, but it is going to be play four quarters with yeah. your head screwed on straight. Yeah, definitely four quarters of play. Um, and just make good football decisions is what they call that. Yeah. Yeah. And the, the one thing that um, I want to talk about, the, the good heads uh, on your shoulders, the Wolverines aren't making silly penalties. No. Um, and that's that's a uh, this is one of the better disciplined teams that I, I think I've seen out of Friday Harbor. Um, they may not have the Donald Galt. They may not have the C.J. Wood. They may not have the Sergio Trujillo. Um, but they have Chris Gustafson, and uh, and they're they're – they're going out there and they're playing hard for uh, for four quarters, and, and so I think that's where where we've been talking all season long about the team's identity. Yeah, and, well, and that was it. The last home game, it got pretty darn chippy at the end of that game with Coopville. I mean, it was getting a little bit of a rivalry game. Well, but I mean, we're talking coaches were rejected, players were rejected. And you ah. know, Party Harbor managed to keep their cool. And, I mean, there was a couple moments there, but I would say they did a better job of keeping their cool than Coopville did. Okay. Well, now uh, driving through Coopville, um, hopefully they didn't throw out their, uh, their empty cups uh, <laughs> as they were going through Coopville. But, um, you know, sometimes you will get that in a rivalry game. Yeah. Um, I'm going to see if we can zoom in on these kids a little bit. Um. Let's see. And uh, anyway, uh, Farmers Insurance, the Tampa County Agency's keys to the game, John. Number two is um, is contain the quarterback. I think if they could keep him inside the pocket this time and force, uh, you know, latch onto those defensive backs, make them stay inside where, where, the, where they're not getting outside and kind of doing the Russell Wilson ad-lib stuff. Yeah. Where they can keep him pinned in, uh, he is a crafty, uh, but it, but the 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 containing and, and maintaining uh, him as a pocket passer, I think, is going to be a very big key. And, um, and that's that's one of the challenges of the game. Um, Jeffrey Bull plays the right outside linebacker, um, so he is out. Connor Haynes is switching from the mic to his position. So you know, any, anytime you're playing that corner contain, um, I always tell people. That person did a great job if you never said their name. Because yeah. when you're containing the corner, you're not making a tackle. You're forcing the play in for the linebackers to make the exactly. tackle. Exactly. So if you only have four tackles, you didn't say your name the game, you had a great game. The first thing you came all the time, either they're playing from that or you're getting that shit. So <laughs> that's kind of how that is. So Connor's going to over, and we're going to have a different person playing the mic in the middle. So it's just – they had all they all had all week to practice with them in that position, so he should have got a lot of drilled into him. Contain the corner, contain the quarterback. Don't let him outside. He force him in, and that's going to be the biggest thing: is is how well he fits into that spot, and if he can make that uh, containment happen. All right, and key number three in our far farmers insurance and the Tamacot agency keys to the game, and uh, number three, John, is what we're kind of looking at out there right now is that power run game. It looks like you have Gustafson up in the fullback, number 34. That's uh, Wiley McCutcheon. McCutcheon um, uh, as a tailback. You know, if, he, if, if, um, if you have a big guy that can really kind of wear down and then get your Wiley McCutcheon yeah. uh, to kind of wiggle free, that, that's, a, that's a good tandem for the, for the Wolverines right there. Um, you know, the, the thing that that the Wolverines are missing uh, one on the line. But they have the, the new guy, yep. uh, TJ Erschmann, yep. number 70, that is going to be out there. Uh, his first game, I don't know if he played much back in Germany. I, I think he did, actually. He was a football in Germany. Yeah, so um, he's going to be drawing his first start of the season. Uh, so it's it's going to be uh, fun to watch that young kid grow right in front of us. And the other thing with the run game, um, you just really make sure uh, you hit the hole. You know, that's, that's a big deal. Uh, Wiley likes to, to cut and move, and he can hit the hole first. And then do that. You're 
salir corriendo. If you let that backside pursue get yeah. get after you. If you can get that first hole and then make that first cut, then you put on the brakes. And I think that's the biggest thing. He's always been an outside runner, and it's harder for him to work on the inside aspect. But it's always designed to be inside runner. And if he can learn to hit that hole and then make that cut, then he's going to make it. And it, it is a, a good field that, that John, I talked about it a few minutes ago, but the, the field conditions are absolutely perfect for this time of the year. Uh, it rained, so the, the, the first inch, uh, then there's been dew, but there's like the first inch where you can really get your cleat into the ground. Uh, I really like that. Yeah, there's only a couple of bald spots, and they're in really weird places. I'm not sure why there would be a bald spot on the sideline on the that's kind of a weird one. And yeah, there's one down here on the 30, on the 25 on the side. But other than that, I mean, there's just the normal wear and tear you see in a football, and you see a lot of fresh greens and grass and all that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah they're not the desert, desert climate that we are over. <laughs> a little more rain down here. A little bit more rain. Well, that will do it for our Farmers Insurance and the Tammy Cotton Agency. Keys to the game. Wolverine Sports on Friday Harbor Tiny TV is presented by Brown's Home Center, the island's only full-service building supply center, by Banner Bank, Blade Resurrection Sharpening Service, .com, bladeresurrection.com. Purple and Gold Booster Club, Farmers Insurance and the Tampa County Agency, American Legion, Friday Harbor Dentistry, Lemon Computers, Geyser Appliance Repair, Haley's Bar and Grill, San Juan Surveying, Friday Harbor Electric, Miller Drywall, Pacific Rim Insulation, Star Excavation and Septic, and Island Petroleum Services. And uh, it is Breast Cancer Awareness, so you'll see the cheerleaders across the way with their pink pom-poms pom -poms on, and then the captains are taking to the field 320 and 9. That's uh, Ryan Morgan, and they're not on by number. This is no problem. Eric Haugen, Ryan Morgan, and Nick Black were the Falcons and for the Wolverines. Uh, looks like Jack Mason on the right. Jack Mason, Connor Haynes, and Dylan Roberson. The usual suspects. We are about three minutes from kickoff. And, uh, John, the Wolverine cheerleaders, you can see them back behind the bleachers. Stacy Rude is not here today. Uh, and I don't think David Root is either. No. Why don't you, uh, are we to able to say? Yeah, he's doing fine now. He's doing well. All right, we'll get well soon, both of you. Hope to see you back at the sideline next week against uh, Bellingham. Bellingham Red Raiders visit next week. We will carry that live. That's going to be okay. Yes, it is. All right, uh, the starters for our Island Petroleum Services starting lineup for the Wolverines is number seven, Dylan Roberson, Nathan Posenjack, Connor Haynes, Chris Gustafson, Pierce Klein, Wiley McCutcheon, Jack Mason, Gavin Garcia, Max Field, Tim Jasner, Erschmann, and Tate Geyser, the defensive starters for South Whitby. Here come the Making the stroll out. All right, these starters for the defense for South Whitby. I don't know who won the top, John, but... I don't catch it either, to be honest. All right. Um, 64, Kevin Assetti, Ryan Morgan, Eric Haugen, Joey Matson, Nick Black, Lucas Taxkini, Taxkini, Taxini, sorry, um, Cash Hunjni, Cole... Shutter. Shutter, there you go. You got yes, it. Yes, I do remember that one now. Uh, Josh Sturba, Elijah Dixon, Martin Solsi. Those are the starters for the Falcons. And now the starting lineups for your Falcons. Number 12. We're going to let you listen to this before we get to.
I can listen to these so that I can get all the James names right, John. <laughs> Haugen. Good, good, to, good to take advantage of that. Shedder. Taxony. That's a tall guy. Yeah. They have three. That's the other one. Sturba, 6'4", junior. Probably, probably both on the basketball team, too. Yeah. Maybe some names we'll be familiar with. All right. We're going to... Thank our sponsors one more time. Wolverine Sports on Friday. Harbor Tiny TV is presented by Browns Home Center, the island's only full-service building supply center, Banner Bank, Blade Resurrection, Purple and Gold Booster Club, Farmers Insurance and the Tampa Cotton Agency, American Legion, Friday Harbor Dentistry, Lemon Computers, Geyser Appliance Repair, Haley's Bar and Grill, Friday Harbor Electric, San Juan Surveying, Miller Drywall, Pacific Rim Insulation, Star Excavation and Septic, and Island Petroleum Services. Friday Harbor, Friday it's Harbor. A, it's a strange fight song, I know. <laughs> That's nice of them to play the Friday Harbor fight song, <laughs> of which I know the first four words. <laughs> you think you know more than all the basketball games, jeez. <laughs> Friday Harbor. I'm too busy yakking away at the games. All right, we are above the stadium here, getting ready for the kickoff between the Friday Harbor Wolverines and the South Whidbey Falcons. We have yet to see who is taking the Wolverines. Look like they will be going from our right to our left. Can't tell if they're going to receive. I don't see anybody with a kicking tee. Can you get the AF lock on? All right, Wolverines will receive the kickoff. And with the play-by-play, -play, it is John Volk. Yeah, you got uh, Pierce Klein and Wiley McCutcheon back to Wiley McCutcheon back to receive. We'll see what uh, I can't remember what uh, South Whitby did in the first game. They did pooch kitches or they kicked it. To be honest, I got to look at my notes more often when we do these games. We weren't even supposed to actually play in this game. We were kind of a fill-in for South Whitby. They needed a game, and we had a bye and. 
Otherwise, they didn't have a team to play for homecoming, so it worked out for everybody. Ah, there we go. Now he's going to straighten up that ball there. Not quite there. And over in the distance, you can see the Pee Wees. That's the NCYFL team for Whidbey, uh, South Whidbey. The who? NCYFL, the youth football. There's the kick. It's picked up uh, short in front of Wiley McCutcheon with a 10-yard return. So they're going to start on the Wolverine 35-yard line. Right at the 35. So got to get an idea that they're not really going to put it deep. Nope, kind of in the middle. Yeah. So see if you can get somebody with maybe not receiver's hands but linebacker hands. But <laughs> So here's our first play of the game. I mean, I'm kind of thinking Sun's behind me, maybe pass on the first play. It's not a bad idea. You're going in. Going uh, they they the won't be expecting it. They won't be expecting it. So here we are, our normal formation here. It's like uh, Pierce Klein in the wing back. He's going to go in motion. Here's a snap. Hand off to Wiley McCutcheon. Or no, is that, was that Wiley or was that Connor? Looked small. They're going to say a loss of no, one on Con the play. No, that was Connor Haynes on the handoff there. Loss of a yard. Loss of one on the play. Brings up second down for the Wolverines. That's an old school down marker too. Look at that thing. <laughs> seen one of those oh long. yeah, I haven't seen one of those in a long time. All right, the Wolverines are up on the ball here. Maybe it's homecoming, 1984. <laughs> so Wiley McCutcheon looks like he's playing wide receiver in place of Jackson Walter, and he's out. Here's Pierce Klein in motion, and toss to oh, it wasn't it? Boy, he didn't get very far. Maybe back to the original line of scrimmage. So a gain of one. Uh, gain of zero. It's well, going to be third and 11. Oh, maybe. Yeah, it should be right on the original line of scrimmage. But anyway, they're a little short. Yeah. yeah. So third and the long 10. Either way. Sorry for the post right in the middle. Oh, it keeps, keeps the roof from falling on us. <laughs> Our little Wolverines are set to go. Well, we should have Klein in motion. But no, they're not. A non-motion play, and they're going to fake the handoff. Roberson rolls out and throws. Intercepted by number three. He runs it back to the 30, almost to the 20-yard line. So that would be uh, third play Ryan of the Morgan. game. And third, Ryan Morgan with a pick. Third play of the game, Wolverines. That was a nice pick. That it was thrown behind the defensive back. Yeah. Uh, and he, he just uh, you know reached back, snagged it like a couple of Seahawks receivers. Uh, couldn't do last night. Well, and I think what you're looking at that route too, the the Freddie Harbor route, he ran a little wider than I think they planned on that, so it was kind of a little miscommunication. So here's South Libby up to the ball. Uh, I formation, wide receiver on both sides. Here's the handoff to the up back and the gain of two or three on the play. No, a little more than that. It looks like five yards. So five on the play, up second, down and five for the second and five. Hard to tell who the ball carrier was. Yeah, it was the up back. I think that was number 20. Uh, number 20 is Eric Haugen. Yep. No, it wasn't. It would have been 42. Sorry. Got to get my numbers right here. Now I can see where we're at. 42 is So we're running uh, twin receivers on the left side. Here's the snap. Hand off to number 20. He's going to get, uh, looks like six yards, seven yards for a first down. Eric Haugen with the carry. Gain of about seven on the play. Good enough for a Falcon. So we're inside the 10-yard line, the first, first and goal for the Falcons. They're up to the line. Got uh, twin receivers to the right side, the near side for us. I formation. Here's the snap. Oh, fake handoff. Going to pass to the corner to number 17. Looks like he might have just got inside the pylon. Oh, we're going to say he's down short. Or out of bounds. Is he marking that incomplete? They've moved the down markers. Yeah, they shouldn't do that until that guy tells you that. Why yeah, that's and they're be. walking backwards. Yeah, I think they're going to call it an incomplete pass. He might have been out of bounds. Pass intended for Sturba, incomplete. Mm. And... Can you get the other camera handy so that we can move out there? So we're looking like uh, second and goal. Pin the Falcons in with the play. Brings up second down for the Falcons. Uh, 
Going to run uh, wide receiver on one side, wing back on the far side. There's the snap. Hand off to number 20. He's going to go around the edge. Uh, gets tackled by three or four Wolverines. They drive him back a little bit. I think he got a gain of about two or three yards on the play. Ball came free at the end. Roberson had it. So it looked like a gain of three on the play, I think. So second and goal from looks like the two or three yard line. There's a third goal for the Falcons. Got to jostle back and forth here between these posts. Yeah. <laughs> we switched over to our auxiliary camera. All right, the Falcons are up to the ball. Uh, so here we go. Uh, Third shot, and five from the five. Shotgun with five. Uh, running backs on both sides. Third and goal. Here's a snap. Drops back. Looking to pass. He's going to the far corner, number 17. And it is out of bounds. Incomplete. So that brings up fourth and goal from probably like the three-yard line. I was showing the ball on the scoreboard at the five. Yeah, it's not on the five. <laughs> I'm looking, I'm looking at the side judge yeah. where the marker is. It's not the five-yard line. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll see if they're going to go for it here. Um, if they don't, it's a 97-yard drive for the Wolverines mm. going the other way. Falcons took over on a an interception thrown oh, by Dylan 25. Roberson on the so. game's, game's third play. Eight minutes to go here in the first quarter. Falcons ran with the play. They're lining up uh, on the far hash. Uh, looks like eye formation, Receivers to the left. two receivers to the left. And, and a timeout on the field looks like is going to be South Whitby. Yeah, South Whitby's going to take a timeout and decide what they want to do about this. Well, that was a quick start. So we're going to have our first timeout, uh, 7.58 to go in the first quarter. Uh, currently the score is 0-0. It will be fourth down for South Whitby on the three-yard line. Wolverine Sports on Friday Harbor Tiny TV is presented by Brown's Home Center. The island's only full-service building supply center, Ben and Brank, Blade Resurrection, Purple and Gold Booster Club, Farmers Insurance, and the Tammy Cotton Agency. All right, looks like the Falcons are ready to go. The Wolverines are coming back on the field. Again, they're on the far hash on the far side of the field. So we're going to run one, two. They're going to run, split the receivers to both sides, and they're going to run uh, two running backs, one on each side of the quarterback in the shotgun formation. Here's the snap. Quick pass across the middle, and looks like it's completed to number 15 for a touchdown. Uh, that was a jump ball thrown. Throw it to their six-foot. Two, three, four. Toscany. So score on fourth down for uh, South Whibby. They're going to line up and kick their extra point. There's the snap. Kick is up, and it looks good. Looks good. It is good. The Falcons take a 7-0 lead, 7.54 to go in the first quarter. Capitalizing on the turnover by the Wolverines. See what the Wolverines can come out here. They didn't go anywhere on uh, the first two carries. In fact, they went backwards on the first carry. Weren't able to get much going. So they took to the air. We'll see what the Wolverines can get going. Wolverine Sports on Friday Harbor Tiny TV is presented by Browns Home Center. The island's only full-service building supply center, Island Petroleum Services, Star Excavation and Septic, Pacific Rim Installation, Miller Drywall, San Juan Surveying, Wolverines, out to receive the second kick of the evening from South Whidbey. And, John, the, the, uh, tough for your defense to go out there and defend 25 uh, yards. Yeah, pretty short field there. Oh, if you look at it the way, if it had been a normal kickoff, that would have been about on the 45 or the 50, right? They would have turned over. They wouldn't have. Yeah, a much more different fourth down. Result. Yeah. Yeah. Giving them a short field position allowed them to score. All right. So here's uh, South Whitby ready for the kickoff. Uh, again, we have Wiley McCutcheon deep along with Pierce Klein. I think the line in front of them is Graham. Where is he at? Graham Leering and uh, Nathan Posenjack. And the ball bounces, and it's actually picked up by Graham Leering. A little miscommunication there. He does nowhere for 
right on the 33, I'm going to say. The Wolverine 33. So the Wolverines will start with the ball there. You can go now. All right, so here the Wolverines come to the ball. Got the, they're on the near hash to us, so they got lots of field on the far side. No motion from Klein. It's going to be a pitch to Wiley, or uh, Connor Haynes. It gets maybe a yard on the play. I think he was happy to hold on to the ball on yeah, that. Yeah, it was a little, little dicey there on the, on the catch. Maybe no gain. Ah, maybe a yard. Wolverines back to zero yards offense. <laughs> got to even that out, you know. Yep. All right, the Wolverines come to the ball. Uh, everybody's getting set. Dylan's down underneath the center. Klein in motion. Here's the handoff to Gustafson. Gets uh, some hard-fought yards. That's like maybe still going. Boy, they're gonna blow that whistle any day, guys. There we go. Now There's a, a rugby scrum, and I mean, I, I like the the push. Uh, but the, the refs uh, have to do a good job of protecting the players. Yeah, there was no forward progress there for a couple seconds. So they like a gain of three or four on the play. They, they can't wait until people are starting to fall on the ground. Yeah. <laughs> they gotta got to protect these, these kids. So third and probably four or five to go. Nice run by uh, Gustafson, though. There's the snap. No motion from Klein. It's going to be a handoff to Haynes. He gets caught in the backfield. That's like a loss of two on the play. A quick whistle on that one. Yeah, that one was much better on the whistle time. Loss of two. They're going to give him a loss Whoa, of three on the play. Where, that's not the forward progress. I, I think they may have said that his knee oh, touched. touched the ground. Yeah. That's why I was wondering why that whistle was so quick. They marked him way back there. So the Wolverines facing fourth and eight at their own 35-yard line. Yep. We're just past 35. Yeah, that was a, a nice power run, though, by Gustafson before yes. that. Uh, a couple of uh, exchange problems on those last uh, on the first carry and the third carry. Um, but the Wolverines are going to go in there and talk about this one. Do they bury them deep? Um, I'd like to see them uh, give a directional punt to the far sideline and let it trickle down. I agree. Kick Kick the back third of the ball and get some roll out of it yeah. uh, to not allow for a return. Or if somebody attempts to return, a good chance of it shanking off of them. 6-10 to go. We are here at South Whidbey. Friday Harbor trails the Falcons. 7-0, 6-10 six, to go in the first quarter. Wolverines just went into the timeout. Facing fourth and eight, Brock. How called a timeout. Both teams have used a timeout here in the first quarter well, already. It looks like they're going to go for it. I don't see the punt formation. So here comes the snap. Uh, motion from Klein. Uh, here's Dylan Roberson back to pass. Gets the ball off. Everybody's looking for it, and it is not caught. It is incomplete. Uh, there were two Wolverines in the area, and the ball just kind of lofted up there. I don't think they could find it. Under thrown, and it looked like the, the, uh, the first receiver was had a shot at it, tipping it to the second receiver. Um, but the Wolverines have now have to defend a short field 35-yard drive potential for the Falcons here. 6.02 to go. Falcons up to the ball. They're going to go uh, two wide receivers on the far side, one wide receiver on the right. Uh, and shotgun pistol formation. Here's the snap. And a low snap, gets it off right away to throw, incomplete to number 15. And quick, quick timing play there, he just didn't let it develop enough. Yeah, uh, hit the receiver uh, maybe before he was a little bit ready to catch it. Wolverines could have gotten their hands on that ball. Yep. Wolverines are going to have to be ready for that quick passing game. I think they... May have been listening to us, John, talking about uh, keeping the quarterback in the pocket. They're yes. going with, with much quicker throws than they were last time when when they threw three touchdowns of 30 yards or more against the Wolverine defense You're in right. the first he, game of the season. He hasn't moved out of the pocket yet. 
All right, so the South Bloomington up to the ball. Two fried receivers on the far side in the pistol. That's a direct snap and run from the quarterback. He gets to the outside edge on the far side. There's a flag on the play, and he's out of bounds. Oh, looks around like the 20. And uh, South Whidbey is uh, continuing to walk backwards. Yeah, where that flag was, I'm going to say holding. Yeah. They're walking back even further. The ref already told them. There. <laughs> yeah, there's a holding call. Wolverines will now join them at the 40-yard uh, line, about where the 42-yard line was where the penalty will be marked off to. Right into the line of sight of the pole is where they're <laughs> going to put <laughs> put the ball down. Of course, that makes we're it gonna, easier for us. We're going to slide around here. So we're going to be on the Wolverine, I think, probably 42-yard line. Uh, second and from there is going to be second and 14 probably. They say second and 17 on the board, but that's not seven yards. There's the South Whidbey back to snap. They're going to pistol with two wide receivers on our side of the field. He's back to throw. Looks up, throws, completes the number 17. Tackled just after the 30-yard line uh, by number 50. That would be Victor Velasquez. It's going to be fourth and about two or three and quick. South Whidbey's going no hurry huddle. up here with no huddle. Here comes the snap. Low snap. He's looking back to pass. Got a receiver open right in the middle. Uh, he's going to juke a couple guys, get down to probably the 10. Uh, I think they're just outside the 10 yard line. Yeah, I thought that we were going to see another flag there. There was a Wolverine on his back with someone sitting on him. So it looks like it's going to be on the two yards to go. So it's uh, on the 12-yard line of the Wolverines. So first and 10. Uh, South Whidbey up to the ball. It's going uh, quarterback's going under center. We got two wider, two wing backs with the wide receiver on the far side. There's the snap, quick handoff coming back against the flow, and he is tackled in the backfield probably for a loss or yeah, even. And the Wolverines uh, kind of were like, oh, let's go back to our uh, defending concrete playbook. <laughs> so it looks like a gain of one or two on the play. I'm going to say two. So it'll be second and eight. Four twenty-two to go in the first quarter. Falcons up to the ball. It's like we're going to go under center again for the quarterback with uh, – a wing back to his left and a, no, actually a really high set rut back. There he goes, right to him. Tried to go up the gut there. Looks like a gain of two on the play. Quick handoff to number nine, Nick Black. So third and six, it looks like. And the quarterback's coming all the way over to the sideline for the play for the again. Yeah. I think they're going to call two plays right here, like they did yeah, on uh, the last fourth down. That would be yeah. smart, yeah. Because at this point, you're, it's, the goal, it's, the, uh, it's the goal line that they're working towards, not really the. So he's under center again with the wing back just right to his right. It's, the back, it's going back to pass. He's throwing to number 42, and he gets in the end zone, it looks like, for a touchdown. Quick little pass to Cole Shutter. So South Webby's out to do the uh, extra point. And here comes the snap for South Whidbey. Kick is up and it is good. That's going to be 14-0 Falcons. Wolverines zero with 324 left to go in the first quarter.
Well, that's kind of clever. I like that what the cheerleaders are doing there. They're spelling out the team name with their pom poms after the touchdown. A little bit easier when you're. It's a little bit easier to do that when it's six letters instead of W O L V R I N E S. If at least they didn't try to do the whole Friday Harbor High School Wolverines. All right, the Wolverines have dug themselves a, a bit of a hole here, John, given the Falcons two short fields on a turnover and then a turnover on downs. Um, they, the Falcons may have a total of 50 yards on offense, yeah. uh, they have, but they have 14 points to show for it. Exactly. Short field positions get you easy points. Here's the kickoff from uh, South Whitby. It is fairly deep this time. Uh, William McCutcheon has the ball, and he's bringing it up. Uh, makes his first cut, gets outside, makes another cut. He's all over the far sideline, and they've got him down on the, what is that, the 40-yard line. And looks like someone might be hurt down there, number 42 for South Whidbey. And a Wolverine's down as well, but he's getting up. Nope, 42's up. Here he comes. Nope. Nice return by McCutcheon right there. I thought it was McCutcheon. He said Pierce Klein, but I oh, okay. that, that was Wiley. I'm pretty sure that was Wiley McCutcheon. Okay, I won't tell if you won't tell. <laughs> Pierce plays the far side. Sorry for the shaky camera, but um, we have these poles right in front of us. We're trying to give you the best angle that we can. Wolverine's up to the ball. Uh, we get a replacement at wide receiver. That's like Graham. That's going to be Graham Learing at wide receiver. That means probably Wiley McCutcheon's back there at the deep slot, and he's got the ball. They're coming outside with it. Chris makes a block. Wiley tries to cut up, cuts up again. He gets almost to the 45. Looks like the 44-yard line. That's a crafty little run by him, uh, being able to set up his blockers and stick his foot in the ground and get to the outside. Uh, we, we talked in the pregame about going between the, the tackles. <laughs> we, we talked about going between the tackles, but he was able to bounce it outside for about a four-yard gain, brings up second and 6 302 to go in the first quarter. Wolverines trail 14-0. All right, Wolverines are up to the ball. And we're going to get some motion. There's motion from Connor Haynes. Here's the snap, hand off to Connor on the inside. Good game, first down for the Wolverines. Looks like he got up to the 47, 48. Where are we at with the chains? I'm going to say the 48 of the South would be Wolverines. Falcons. Wolverines finally into Falcons territory. Wolverines first first down ball. of the game as well. Yes, very much so the first first down. So we're up to the ball. They're on our side of the field, so lots of field the other way. Here goes Haynes in motion. Snap. Hand off to Wiley McCutcheon. He cuts inside. Gets right tackled almost immediately when he made through the line. He got up to the 45-yard line. We can mark him down right at the 45. That'll bring up a second and a long seven. All right, here comes the play. And you can see what we're dealing with with these posts right here. <laughs> second down and seven for the Wolverines. All right, Wolverines are the huddle. They're coming up to the ball. Uh, it's like our standard formation, nothing different there. Roberson under center. No motion from Haynes. Here's a toss to our direction. Uh, McCutcheon's got it, stops short, only gets to the line of scrimmage again. Tried to cut it the last minute, but they got him before he could bounce back. So that's going to bring up third and seven. He kind of looked like he was trying to stick the ball out there. Um, for a first down. Yeah, not quite there. Only yet. had seven yards to go. It's a really long arm. <laughs> yeah, Stretch Armstrong, the ball carrier for the Wolverines. All right, so the Wolverines are up to the line again. Roberson under center. We're going to see if we get some motion here from Haynes. I formation. No motion. Fake toss, back to pass, over the top to the middle. Oh, just too far for Pierce Klein to catch. About two yards in front of him. Good play, though. He was open if the ball would have been there on time. Easy first down. So that's going to bring up third and seven, fourth and seven. We're fourth and seven. Fourth and seven. So it looks like we're going to take an injury timeout. And 
looks like Dylan Roberson's got the wind knocked out of him. And he him. he was under pressure right there. Yeah. Um, we he had to really kind of unload that ball. Uh, he had two guys in his face when he released it. All right, so we're looking at a and minute four left in the first quarter. This spells punt to me. Yeah, I'm with your quarterback. Uh, I think he's going to have to come off for at least one play. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, guaranteed one play, but I'm hoping that it doesn't look too bad. But you saw the ball carrier on the play before that uh, when he was at the 45. Really took a, a hit, a good strong hit from South Whidbey. So it's homecoming here at South Whidbey, and they definitely came to play. They came to hit. So Wolverines are a pickup game. Wolverines are 2-0 and in league. They are 2-3 and on the season. 3-2. and 3-2, and two, correction. Sorry, I was thinking about the Seahawks and the Huskies. <laughs> <laughs> All right, oh. so it looks like the Wolverines are going to punt. Uh, they're up in their punt formation. So South Whibby's going to send some receivers back deep. I kind of agree with kicking to the sideline. It would be an excellent idea. So here's the bad snap. Here's the punt. Just got it away. Nice high arcing punt. And bouncing the wrong way for the Wolverines. Then it bounces the right way for the Wolverines. So almost down to the 10. Looks like it's going to be on the Wolverines South Whibby Falcons, Falcons 11. The Falcons 11 where they'll take over first and 10. So Roberson looks like he's okay. He's back out for defense. So must have just got the ball in the gut. Or if you didn't have the ball, I guess it's a fist in the gut. So Wolverines are on a three-game winning streak. They lost their first two games. Uh, first one was to South Whidbey. The next one to Granite Falls. And here they, they've ripped off wins against... Um, LaConnor. LaConnor, 63 nothing. Seton Catholic and Coopville. Seton Catholic and Coopville. So the Wolverines back on track. All right, so South Whidbey's down their own 11, a shotgun with a pistol formation. Here's the snap and a handoff right up the middle. Uh, looks like a decent yardage on the play, like about six yards on the play. So that's going to bring up second four. And another player down. Yep. Got a Boy, a lot of time spent on the knees for, yeah. for both of these teams. Got 39 seconds left in the first quarter. It's like the Wolverines are going to the sideline. And are we seeing number 70 out on defense? 7-0 or 7 Erschmann. Uh, I don't see him on defense. Nope, there he is right there. Okay. He's at the edge of the, edge, of the, edge of the circle there on the left. One in, one in from the edge. Okay. He's got kind of a ponytail. Siebstisch uh, ist er, er, Erschmann. Make sure I'm saying that right. All right, looks like we got the injury sorted out. He's coming out. It's like he maybe got hit in the face. He's got his hand up in his up in his cage. And he's one of the bigger boys out there. So here we are with the Wolverines back out on defense. South Whidbey's going to come up to snap. Second and four with 33 seconds left in the first quarter. Uh, they got one deep back, one wing back. Quarterback under center. Here's the snap. He hands off to the wing back. Breaks the first tackle. Gets back on him. Makes the tackle. Uh, got a gain of five or six, so it's going to be first down. 42 won't blow you out of the water with the speed, but... He's hard to tackle. Yes, he is. That was Chris Gustafson with the tackle. So first down for the Falcons. It's like just inside the 25-yard line. Wolverines trail 14-0. That will be the last play of quarter. the first quarter. The Wolverines trail 14-0. Wolverine Sports on... Friday Harbor Tiny TV presented by Browns Home Center, the island's only full-service building supply center, Banner Bank, Blade Resurrection, Purple and Gold Booster Club, Farmers Insurance and the Tampa Cotton Agency, American Legion, Friday Harbor Dentistry, Lemon Computers, Geyser Appliance Repair, Haley's Bar and Grill, Friday Harbor Electric, San Juan Surveying, Miller Drywall, Pacific Rim Insulation, Star Excavation and Septic and Island Petroleum Services. And, John, this broadcast uh, would not be possible without all of uh, those sponsors, who, most of who have been with us for, for 10 years uh, or more. So, you know, these, these games that you're able to...
stay home and not have to worry about the fairies, uh, of which, uh, John, we got I got that alert this afternoon yeah. telling us that um, prepare for Armageddon. Yep, no sandwich tomorrow or Sunday. So there's going to be a, a very full ferry boat with a weird schedule. Yeah, so it, it's going to be um, a... Can we go out on the limits and call it a ferry demic? <laughs> well, they had the same thing down here. They're down to one boat on this route for a while. Uh, they had to go pick up the rest from the ferry landing. So I'm looking like 65, got something in his eye. They did the eye wash a few times, and I'd imagine once he gets uh, rested up, he'll be back in. Spend a little bit of time over the eye wash station. Yeah. All right, so here's South Louisiana Which is this Gatorade bottle, by the way. <laughs> it's like eye formation. They're going to hand off to the deep back. And he doesn't really get very far at all, maybe uh, a yard on the play. Yeah, I wasn't sure he's was going to get back to the line of scrimmage, but they're going to give him forward progress out across the 30-yard line. All right, so second down. Let's see what uh, Southwood BS has planned here. Running the play back in. Sorry for the camera work, but we're dealing with these poles, trying to move it around to give you the best shot possible. So we're looking at uh, eye formation. With, it's like the middle back's a little offset. Here's the snap. He gives it to, nope, it's going to be a pass. He's looking to his wide receiver who is wide open, but he is out of the field of play. That will be an incomplete pass. Morgan's pass incomplete. So if anybody got to watch that video, you're seeing how the – Wolverines do their defense. We don't really use a defensive end. We use an outside linebacker. In that play, there were two wide receivers in the area. One is the corner's responsibility. The second is the outside linebacker's responsibility. And we got a little out of play there because that one wide receiver was wide open. <laughs> <laughs> and the ball was underthrown. Which was fortunate for us. Yes. All right, so here's uh, South Whidbey up to the ball. Uh, they're going to run single back with wing. Two wings. Wings on each side. So that's single wing, double wing, <laughs> double wing. All right, here's the handoff coming across the other way, and that's easily read and tackled by Jack. No, no, that's uh, Tate Geyser. Good tackle by Tate Geyser for a loss on the play. Tate Geyser sniffed that one out, bringing up fourth and 11 yards to go. Yeah, that was an excellent play there. So you see how that long field really paid off for the Wolverines, where yeah. the first two times, uh, they were able to get uh, 14 points off of less than 50 yards. So we're back to we got a wing back and a single so pistol formation with a wing back for we, South. Back Wendy. deep for oh, the Wolverines. And there's the punt. I couldn't see the guy behind the bar. <laughs> They're gonna let that ball go and it goes out at the 47 six. They're gonna mark it at 48. 47. 48. You're right. I'm looking the other way. It is. You're right. It is the 48. It's all right. Wolverines will start this drive in Falcon territory, which is their best starting field position of the game. 10:32 to go. The Wolverines trail 14 nothing. See if they can capitalize on uh, favorable field position set up by that punt that bounced the Wolverines' way. I gotta, I gotta keep moving my head so I can look on both sides of the pole. Then I'll see the punter next time. <laughs> all right, the Wolverines are up to the ball. They're on the hash closest to us in the near side of the field. No motion. Nope, there's the motion right there from, uh, looks like Wiley McCutcheon. And there's a toss to Connor Haynes. Is that a Connor Haynes right there? No. He's fighting, getting forward. Uh, maybe a gain. Uh, no, it's like an even. I'm going to say no gain on the play. So that was Wiley with the ball. I'm not sure who came across crossing motion then. No gain on the play. It's on second down. And I tell you, uh, he ran into his own man out there, yeah. but that was set up by good defense kind of blowing the play up on the edge. Wolverines bring up, brings up second and 10 at the Wolverines' own, or excuse me, at the Falcons' 48-yard line. All right, let me see what we got out here on the field. Wolverines in the I formation, Roberson under center. Here comes a snap, and we got, uh, looks like Klein in motion. Is that Klein? Here's the handoff. Right to Cuffs to sit. He muscles his way for about five yards, maybe four. They're going to give him four yards. They're going to give him four. Brings up third and six. Under ten minutes to go here in the first half at South Whidbey High School. Right. It is, see the purple, excuse me, the pink socks, pink pom-poms 
for breast cancer awareness. In the NFL, it is um, early detection catch. Catch. Make the catch. All right, so here's the Wolverines. So Dylan Robertson over to center. Here's the – oh, we got a man in motion. It reverses. Here's the snap. Looks like it's going to be a pass. Roberson's rolling out in pursuit. He's going to run the ball. He's got a block up front, and he gets maybe two yards on the play. So just outside the – or inside the 40, so maybe the 41-yard line. Let's see if the Wolverines are going to try to win the field position battle or go for it on fourth and about four. I'm going to say fourth and four. Yeah, fourth and four. Maybe three. Who cares? you got to make the first it's, down. It's a, it's a pretty big chunk of yardage. Let's put it that way. So, I see if you're going to ground this one, you gotta, it's got to be Chris Gustafson to drag those guys for the four yards. So, we'll see what they're doing. They're on the far side of the field there. They're lining up for the snap. Roberson under center. Climb in motion. Quick snap there. Give it to McCutcheon. He gets hit at the line with no gain. Actually, he might actually lose a yard. So the Wolverines get turned over on downs to South Whidbey. Uh, that'll give them a starting position on their own, uh, where they got that marked at, 42-yard line, 41-yard line. Wolverines lose the field position battle on that sequence. See if the defense can come up big again with uh, pretty good field uh, to defend. So at some point, try to get off the field right here, but the Wolverines... So South Whitby comes up to the ball. Looks like we're going to do a shotgun. We're doing two wide receivers on one. Pistol in the shotgun snap. Here's the snap. It's looking to pass. He's the quick throw. It's tipped by Connor Haynes. The ball goes incomplete. That'll bring up second and ten for the Falcons. Looks like we got a little player package change. They're putting a swapping lineman out. Ball is spotted at the 41-yard line of the Falcons. Here's the play coming in. Brings up second and 10. No gain on the incompleted pass. All right, they're going to line up in shotgun again. we got two wide receivers on our side, one on the far side with a wing back. In the pistol formation, here's the snap. He looks back to throw. He's going deep to the far side. He's got number 15, and he makes the catch. On the 30-yard line, it looks like. So first down, Falcons. A 20, 30-yard pass. And it looks like the Falcons are going to hurry up. They're going right up there to snap the ball. Wolverines make a substitution. Two substitutions. Got to wait for the chains to get yeah, set, but here comes the play in from for number three from the sideline. The Wolverines now backed up to their own 30. All right, here comes the Falcons to the ball. It's like a pistol formation again. Here's the snap, and it goes directly to the running back. He's going to take it off running, and he gets around this far corner on the Wolverines, gets into the backfield. Dylan Roberson pushes him out of bounds at the 12-yard line. 17 on the play. Good enough for Falcon. So it's going to be first and 10 on the 12. And what do we got here? Another substitution for the Wolverines. Here comes the play in from South Whidbey. They're coming up to the ball. Looks like it's going to be back to eye formation for the Falcons. Two and at the Wolverine 12 yard line. Here comes South Whidbey to the ball. Uh, back to the I formation. Quarterback under center. Looks like we got a wide receiver here on the far side. Here's the snap. And it's a fake handoff. They're going to end around from the wide receiver on the far side. He gets down to the four-yard line, maybe the five. We'll see where they mark it. Oh, a very generous spot. They're going to mark it at the three-yard line, it looks like. Still not a first down, though. They're short of that. So it's going to be third and one. Here's about eight on the play, brings up third down for the Falcons. Here's the Falcons to the ball. And they're going to go back to wing back with a single back behind him. 
And here comes the snap from under center. He's going to hand off to the other wing back, and he's going to cut up and be just short of the touchdown. It's going to be a first down, Definitely first, first and goal. Down. They're going to mark him right at the one-yard line. So here's the play in for the Falcons. 7.21 to go in the first half. Wolverines trail 14-0. Going power, a solid eye formation. Falcons knocking on the Wolverines door. Wide receiver on both sides. Under center, here's the snap. And it's going to keep it, try to get in. I don't sure he got it. I think they uh, Wolverine stopped him. No. Wait, waiting on the side judges. No, and there we go. There you go. They signal a touchdown. <laughs> so quarterback keeper from uh, Ryan Morgan for the score. Here come the Falcons for the extra point. There's a snap, down, kick is just good. No, it's too far. <laughs> no, it's not. It was wide. I thought it was through the uprights. It was to the far right. Two for three on extra points. So that gives the Falcons 20, Wolverine zero with 6.57 left in the second quarter. Wolverine Sports on Friday Harbor Tiny TVs presented by Brown's Home Center, the island's only full-service building supply center by Banner Bank, Blade Resurrection, Purple and Gold Booster Club, Farmers Insurance and the Tammy County Agency, American Legion, Friday Harbor Dentistry, Lemon Computers, Guys Appliance Repair, Island Petroleum Services, Star Excavation and Septic, Pacific Rim Insulation, Miller Drywall, San Juan Surveying, Friday Harbor Electric, Haley's Bar and Grill. And, John, if you could script homecoming uh, as a Falcon, this would be what you oh, yeah. this wanted. Is, this is what you want right here. 20-point um, lead, almost a halftime. Yeah, this would be great. But if you're, if, you're a, uh, if you're from Friday Harbor, it's not what you were looking for, but uh, the message is that we've been here before, and how we respond is playing Wolverine football, punch them in the mouth every single play. Um, and not physically, literally punching them in the mouth for those of you <laughs> yeah, who, <why> not? <laughs> who, who might be trying to translate this into German. Um, we're not calling for uh, an all-out assault, but we, we just mean that... Uh, Tough physical play. Yes. All right, so we're going to the kickoff. Uh, here's uh, the Falcons for the kickoff. Waiting for the officials to be happy. There's the whistle. And we should have the kickoff here. There it goes. Uh, it's kind of a squibber up the middle. Uh, it's picked up by Graham Learing, I believe. Uh, and he gets tackled. Oh, he's moving the ball forward. He sure he does. Going. He gets up to the Wolverines 45. Great contact or run after contact. That was excellent. I'm sorry, that was Chris Gustafson who had the ball. Uh, and uh, a good uh, 12, 13 yards after contact. Yeah, after contact brings yeah. the ball all the way out to the Wolverine's 45-yard line, I'm going to say about a 24-yard return. Yeah, excellent return. I think he got that right, about the 19-yard uh, line. All right, so Wolverines are up to the ball. First and 10 on the 45, their own their own 45. Dylan Roberson under center. There's the motion from Klein and the snap. Handoff to Gustafson, and he's got maybe two. They're going to give him a yard. Yeah, they're going to give him two. Brings up second and eight. Yeah. 65 is back out there. I think he's the one. Yeah, I took it in the eye in the last series, yeah. All right, so that was uh, Chris Gustin from the from the deep position, which normally is your tailback or halfback position. So a little mix-up there with the backs for the Wolverines. Looks like they've got uh, again uh, Nathan Posenjack in what you would call the fullback position, and Chris Gustafson is behind him. Here comes uh, Klein in motion, and the snap. Looks like he's going to throw, and it is crossed the middle and caught by Wiley McCutcheon for a first down. He keeps kind of swirling and derving, and there's still no whistle. The player progress is way over here. My goodness. 
<laughs> I, I, I can honestly say that I've never seen a player go back three yards and no whistle being blown. Yeah, it was kind of an odd scenario. All right, so we're uh, first and 10 on the Falcons' 44-yard line. Uh, Wolverines up to the ball. So it looks like we got McCutcheon at wide receiver, Klein in the wing back, opposing Jack for the fullback, and there's Gustafson with the ball in normally the halfback position. He's got a gain of probably four or five on the play, depending on where they spot that. Looks like four yards. So I saw Connor Haynes come out on the last defensive series, so it looks like he is out for a little bit. Um, so that's necessitated some changes here at the running back. You can see them working on somebody over you know, on the bench. I can see Connor Haynes limping from here. So he's over there limping on oh, the yeah. sideline, and I don't know who's on the bench. So there have been a couple of minor injuries here for the Wolverines. They've done their best to shift the players around. So here's the Wolverines. Uh, Roberson under center. Uh, we're going to get uh, motion from Klein, and here's the handoff to Posenjack. He gets a nice chunk there. Looks pretty close to the first down, depending on where they mark that. One side judge has a first there. They're going to give it a first down there. Wolverines so driving, 4.54 to go, trailing 20 nothing. But Wolverines have first and 10 at the Falcon 33-yard line. 4.47 so to go. I'd, honestly, moving Gustafson to the deep back position probably isn't a bad idea. Um, certainly gives him more time to get going and hit the hole harder. Yes. And... Uh, <laughs> Not just hit the hole harder, but um, well, you have that you have that momentum as well. Yeah, that's the harder part. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's the snap for uh, Roberson under center. Uh, motion from Klein, and here's the handoff to Gustafson again, right up the gut, and he's just kind of chugging his legs and turning out four yards there. So they're going to spot it on the Falcons' 30-yard line. So that should bring up a second and six. Well, it's going to be at the right at the 30. They're going to give him three on that. So we're going to take a timeout here for the Wolverines. 4.01 to go. Wolverine Sports on Friday Harbor. Tiny TV is presented by Browns Home Center, the island's only full-service building supply center, by Island Petroleum Services, Star Excavation and Septic, Pacific Rim Insulation, Miller Drywall, San Juan Serving, John uh, I kind of like to see a four-minute drive at this point. Um, keep the ball out of South Whidbey's hands. Um, I think that they may have uh, mixed, th changed things up a little bit, put Gustafson behind there, let his vision, you can see his vision. He protects the ball well, and he's a load to bring down. When I was watching them run uh, out, I, I was looking at just the size of the players. The biggest guy is Jack Mason. Yeah. Um, Tate Geyser is right up there as well, but Gustafson is, is a big guy. Um, in most years, uh, a guy that size would be on the line for the Wolverines, but he has great vision, power, and he, he's a young guy, and I think the Wolverines really kind of need that big punishing back uh, this year. All right, so the Wolverines are up under the ball. Here's Dylan Robeson for the snap. Well, that was a false start, bad snap, everything. So that's going to be a five-yard penalty on the Wolverines. Brings so up third, excuse me, second and 11. Second and 11 back from there. It'll be on the 40-yard line, right? Pretty sure no, that's 35. not what, what they said in the timeout. No, I think they're, for what happened there, I'm guessing half the team thought they are going on one and half the team thought they are going on two. All right, so here's the Wolverines back under center. Uh, Dylan Roberson with the snap. Uh, motion from Klein. Here's the handoff to Guff's Society. He goes down the left side. Gets kind of tripped up right off the bat. I think his knee went down. Yeah, uh, they got to his feet. Uh, yeah, so that's back to the original line of scrimmage. Brings so up third and ten. Third and ten. I think if he hadn't put that knee down, he was going to get some serious yardage. But it was just enough of a trip to well, get him. Yeah, you can see them going after his ankle. Uh, the low man down just kind of tripped him up. And that, that is literally, the tripped him up is is kind of uh, a colloquialism to football, but that's one time that they actually did it. Well, there's Roberson under center. Klein in motion. And the snap. Hand off to Gustafson. He goes right up the middle. Tries to break it outside. He's put two hands on that ball, though. It's getting kind of dangerous. It looks like he got a gain of two on the play, maybe one. Uh, let's see. I think they're going to give him one yard. 
And I'm not, we're pretty much in four down territory here for yeah. Wolverines, so they're going to go for it here. Under three minutes to go in the first half. Wolverines trail by 20. Wolverines three and two on the season. All right, Roberson under center. And motion from Klein. Here's the snap. Oh, it's a pass. Guy right in Roberson's face. He's going to run. Uh, throws across his body out of bounds. So that's an incomplete pass on fourth down. So it kind of gives you the same idea as punting, I guess. Except they didn't intercept it. So, so it's going to be first and 10 for South Whidbey on the, where are we at here? 32. 32, 33. They're still kind of funking, messing around with the chains there. He said funking, funking around. Yes, funking. <laughs> I thought I should change that word at the last minute. <laughs> so Connor Haynes is back in on defense. He's still kind of limpy. He's uh, the outside linebacker on this side. This is where I think we see a pass-heavy yeah. uh, plan from. All right, then we're going to run right up the gut here for South Whidbey, and he gets about two or three yards before he's met by some Wolverines. And then we've got uh, number 80. That's uh, brings it up second Raphael and seven. Sanabria is in a corner on this side. So Rafael Sanabria on this side. Oh, there's a bad snap. It's bouncing all around. Quarterback looks like he got it back just before a Wolverine got there. So that's going to be a loss of big loss. About 12 16? yards in the play. Oh, maybe. Okay. I'm going to say 12. We'll see where they put this sticker at. Yeah. That's pretty close. Third and about 17. All right, here's the snap. Low snap again. He's rolling right. He's going to pass. He's got a receiver in the flat. There's uh, Gustafson throwing him out of bounds. So just to uh, get back about, 10 of it. Yeah, got back 10 of those yards. 138 to go. So kind of clock management. Yeah, we're if, have fourth and six, it looks like. If they don't convert, they give Wolverines a short field. So uh, this is a, a big decision right here. Personally, I feel like this is a punting decision. It's twenty to nothing. I think I would just punt it away and let the game, let the half roll out. Because if 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 the Falcons don't get the first down, uh, the ball is at the thirty-five and a half yard line. Almost where the Wolverines turn it over on downs. All right, looks like they're going to go for it. We're in a shotgun form, pistol formation. Here comes the snap. It's low snap. He's up to throw. He looks back. He tucks it down. He throws on the run. It is incomplete. South Whitby's in turnover on downs. And if you could have uh, had a wish, John, that would be how that sequence would go for the Wolverines. Yeah, that was uh, a big loss. The ball rolling back for a huge loss, and uh, they're not able to convert on the first down. Gives the Wolverines a short field position, 131 to go. Wolverines. If, if I am a Friday Harbor, I'm calling two plays in here. Wherever you're brought down, the next play, um, maybe even the same play. Yeah, I agree. I give them, I, personally, I give them three plays, but that's just me. Because you got a minute 30, you got to just crank these out, whether they're successful or not. You got to have an idea what you're already going to do on fourth down, so I would just give them the three plays right now. Yeah, four down territory, but. Clock becomes your enemy. I think the Wolverines have two timeouts remaining. I think, I'm think i thinking they have one, but they might have two. All right, so the Wolverines up to the ball. Um, we're kind of having a little argument of where people are supposed to be standing because uh, you got a kid in there that I don't think has really played wide receiver before. All right, Dylan Robertson in center. No motion this time. He's rolling out the pass. He throws back over for a screen. Wiley cuts the other way. He's cutting across the field. We've got a holding call on the Wolverines and a loss of yardage on the play. 10 seconds tick off. They should have, uh, there we go, 12 so seconds I think tick off. If I'm South Whidbey here, I think I'm taking the results of the play, letting the clock start. What do you yeah. think? Yeah. I mean, that's what I'm taking. Well, yeah. maybe, I guess if it's a hold, you have to take it, don't you? You don't get to decline. You can decline holding. You I've, can done de yeah. I've done it before. <laughs> People said I was crazy, and I did it. Yeah, I declined that and let the clock start running. Yeah, there you go. Yep, that's what they did. Yep. Loss on the play. The clock will start running as soon as they spot the ball. One nineteen to go in the first half. Oh, wait. They're asking him. Holding is declined. Right. Yep. There we go. Wolverines are quickly up to the line. So that decision uh, kind of cost the Falcons a little bit. The clock should have started. There we go. There it's going to go right there. Here's the snap. Klein in motion. Or, I'm sorry, yeah, Klein in motion. 
And there it goes to the deep back, and I'm not sure who that was. Uh, maybe I think we switched, switched around again. That would have been Klein that had the ball. Quick hitter there by the Wolverines. Just made the decision, I'm going to run right through whatever hole is there. Yeah, I think that was Klein that actually ran the ball, and it was uh, someone else did the motion. I think that was uh, Connor Haynes was the motion man. Wolverines quickly out of the huddle. There's a quick snap. Uh, Klein's got the ball. He's running it. Gets tackled by the feet. Gain of maybe two on that play. So 40 seconds to go in the fourth first. And, fourth and two. Excuse me, in the second quarter, in the half. Fourth and three. Let's say fourth and three. It's a long Nick two. Fourth and we're going to say short. They're showing two. Clock uh, continues to run under 20 seconds when the ball is snapped. All right, here we go. No motion this time again. It's going to be a rollout. Someone missed their block, and it's intercepted by number, who is that, 30? No, number three, the quarterback. Number three intercepted the ball. Four seconds. And that will be the last real play of the first half. Four seconds to go. They will probably is there a flag down kneel. There's a flag down. So we have oh. holding on South Whidbey, but they still get the ball. It's probably on the Had to be on return. the return and not during the play. Yeah, they're going to mark. All right, so we've got a four-second play to run here before the half. Which will no doubt be a knee. Well, it doesn't look like it. They're going to the huddle. <laughs> if, yeah. you're gonna, if you're a knee, you just go to the line. Nobody do anything. All right, so here's South Whidbey. He's going to get underneath center here in the I formation. Two wide receivers on our side. And here's the snap and a handoff right up the gut. And no gain on the play. A, almost a late hit there. So that's the end of the half. Uh, Falcons 20, Wolverines 0. Now we're going to let you listen to the band for a minute while we get resituated. A gut stray cat. Does it sound like stray cat strut? It is. It is. Yeah, you got it right. <clears throat> All right, that was stray cat strut by the stray cats, circa 1983-1984. That was my senior year of high school. I know that song quite well. Uh, Wolverine Sports on Friday Harbor Tiny TV is presented by Sports. Excuse me. Sorry, my phone was Browns. Browns, Browns Home Center, Brown, the yeah. island's only full-service building supply center. Sorry, I was trying to read, and a text came through when it was covering up what I was trying to read. 
by Banner Bank, Blade Resurrection, a blade sharpening service, Purple and Gold Booster Club, Farmers Insurance, and the Tamacon and Agency, American Legion, Friday Harbor Dentistry, Island Petroleum Services, Star Excavation and Septic, Pacific Rim Insulation, Miller Drywall, San Juan Surveying, Friday Harbor Electric, Haley's Bar and Grill, Lemon Computers, Geyser Appliance. We are in our Lemon Computers halftime show, John. Um, <laughs> uh, not what the doctor ordered right there. No. Um, so, kind of frustrating to... Well, to, I mean, you're looking at injury substitutions, right? And when you have enough starters not starting, they, sometimes they can show it. I kind of think that's what we're seeing. I don't, I don't think they've played particularly bad. They haven't played particularly well. Um, South Whitby's given us what we saw last time. They've done a better job at defending the pass against South Whitby. Yes. So that's definitely improved. Yes. But, you know, the inside running, they just don't have the guys there to make the tackles. Cause yeah. Because you, you take your guy that plays your mic, he's your, your middle linebacker that's covering all those gaps. He's playing the edge, so someone new's playing the mic. And it's kind of one of those positions you got to know how to play. I mean, you can't just – there's a lot – I hate to say there's a lot of thinking, but – you're looking at the play, and you're thinking, oh, i got to fill here, i got to fill here, I'm covering for this guy. They've gone two wide receivers, i got to cover coverage here. So there's a little more work to it when it comes to that. And I just, and then we've had a couple injuries during the game. Connor Haynes had to come out a little bit, and he's the guy already filling in at the outside linebacker position. So then someone's got to fill in for him who hasn't practiced the position. So I, I think you're just seeing, you know, a little injury attrition right now. Um, I certainly think that you can come out at halftime and do better. Um, you know, if, if you can get the right direction and say, hey, so this is what we're doing wrong. Let's tighten up. Let's simplify it. Let's just do X, Y, and Z and try to keep it simple. I definitely liked what they did with the running at the end, moving Gustafson into the deep back. So that adjustment seemed to be paying dividends right away. I don't want to see he come right out and start doing that again in the second half. Um, and, you know, there's some guys in the line that have been dinged up. You can kind of see them on the sideline. So, you know, it's just one of those games where guys get dinged up and you got to adjust, and that's usually what a good coach will do at halftime is you kind of come in and you regroup with where you're at and say, we got to do this, that, and the other, and away you go with it. And, and John, the, the, the thing that um, the Wolverines kind of – uh, they, they had two drives where uh, I'm going to say that there was 50 yards of offense yeah. for South Whidbey. And other than that, they pretty much played them even. Yeah, and I, I, I would say the same thing. And, so and it's, it's been a, a field position issue rather than anything and else. And turnovers for us. Yes. The two drives where we got some traction, we turned the ball over both times. Yes. So you're kind of compounded. I think but you go back to that. The two turnovers, they're both on pass plays where the blocking wasn't there, the quarterback's forced to run, and the play tries to get forced, and that's what happens. Yeah, it is uh, It is homecoming, and there aren't any floats that they're going to take across. <laughs> I don't know if it's social distancing. They weren't able to build floats because that's kind of a group project. Yeah. But um, well, and every school does it different too. So yeah, they might have something different going so on. So we'll see. It, that when, could be laugh of the game too. When is Friday Harbor's uh, homecoming? Uh, it's going to be, I think, in two weeks against LaConnor. Two weeks against LaConnor. So the twenty. What was that the twenty second? I mean, let me look at the old calendar here, and I'll tell you. Um, a week before 22nd. Halloween. Yeah, it's the twenty second. So LaConnor will be coming over for our homecoming. So uh, that's kind of cool, though, home, homecoming and then Halloween. The Halloween game we're away. Well, I mean, that weekend, the 29th. And the following game will be our last season game. It will be away at Coopville. So we get a little rematch of our, our uh, testy game last week. Yeah. Um, what was the final score last week? You know... I want to say it was 20-something to 7, but I, I honestly don't remember at the moment. I can find it in just a sec. Um, the real thing with that game is is it kind of got a little out of hand with uh, some fans, and it trickled down to a coach. And, you know, when that happens, you know, it can get a little dicey. And, it, and I kind of feel like, you know, it got a little out of control at the end. They ended up ejecting a coach. Um, From Coopville? Yeah, one of the Coopville coaches was ejected. And then one of the players was ejected for throwing a, throwing a punch at somebody that didn't land. But 
yeah, it doesn't matter if you Gotta land eject, the punch yeah. or not. The, if the referee sees you do that, you're out. So yeah. um, there was that issue there. So, um, yeah, it got it got pretty chippy at the end of that game. Yeah, and I hate I hate it when the, the fans uh, become a part of the game. I remember um, against Lennon Christian, um, the Nate Pose, excuse me, Nate Stinkholk yep. um, uh, had been abusing them for four years, and uh, his senior year it was a home game and the uh, for Friday Harbor and the Lennon Christian uh, fans really were uh Lynn and christian won the game and they were really uh giving it to pose and jack and i was like th these Stinkholz. these are stake yeah. yeah sorry um and, and so you know these these are high school students playing a sport i, yeah. I say that every week um uh for for home games and and that's something that you really want to uh, see the sportsmanship, and hopefully, when Friday Harbor returns to Coopville after a two-year absence, um, correct. It was, 30, it was thirty-two to six, by the way. Thirty-two to six. Yes. Hopefully, upon Friday Harbor's return to Coopville, that um, that yes. it's a it's a civil game, and the people that should not be at the games are not at the game. Well, and it kind of always, yeah, you're kind of always feeling that on the road too, that certain people show up and their normal fans really don't. So you never get a really good. A really good feel of who's supposed to be there, but um, um, yeah. So it was a little on the on the chippy side at the end. Like I said, there was an injury on their side. A kid broke his arm, and you know they they were getting a little chippy. But um, that happens in football. But uh, yeah. So back to this game. You know, I, I really think it's just a matter of. Uh, and I don't know if you can see across the way, John, but. Um, the the Friday Harbor uh, people out there soaking in Sunshine. the sun. I know it's nice and warm. I bet. I mean, <laughs> when, when when can you think of a game in uh, the middle of October where it's sunny like this? Where yeah. it's been sunny. And when can you think of the last time Stacy Rude was not on the sideline? I know it's been a while, just, but the, I've been told this is her last season. So she's got she's got someone taken over for her. Yeah, and. You know she she's uh, she has won a an academic state champion, um, so you know she she doesn't just uh, coach cheerleading, she coaches the girls and has done just an amazing job uh, ever since I have been coming to Friday Harbor games. That was about twelve years ago. Yeah. So you know it's just just what she means to those cheerleaders. Um, you know it's going to be. Uh, Whoever takes over um, is going to have some pretty good shoes to fill, and this maybe is sort of um, a changing of the reins. And we're going to look down at the see if I can find them. <laughs> the Wolf Ranger leaders—they're down here uh, watching the homecoming on our side. Students voted this past week and have selected their homecoming royals. We had the cheerleaders on. So now the camera's on me and not the cheerleaders. Well, you know. So pretty sure they'd much rather see the cheerleaders, but there you go. Um, we are at homecoming. The Wolverines trail uh, 20 to nothing here at the break, uh, just about 10 minutes before the start of the second half. Um, you know, the, the um, – Wolverine Sports on Friday Harbor Tiny TV is presented by Browns Home Center, the island's only full-service building supply center. Star Excavation and Septic. Pacific Rim Insulation. And they just announced homecoming king and queen. C1 Surveying, Miller Drywall, Friday Harbor Electric, Haley's Bar and Grill, Geyser Appliance Repair, Friday Harbor Dentistry, American Legion, Farmers Insurance, and the Tampa Cotton Agency, Purple and Gold Booster Club, Blade Resurrection, Banner Bank, and we are in our Lemon Computers halftime show. Wolverines Trail 20 to nothing. Here come the Falcons back on to the field. Wolverines uh, will be coming out here shortly. I don't see them over in an end zone. No, no, uh, they, have, they have a locker room. I, I'm just, I'm just yeah. what game was that that uh, both teams? Oh, it was, it was Catholic. Yeah, it was the Seton Catholic game no, no, where both the, teams were in the end zones. The athletic director for South Whitby made sure we had a uh, 
a change or a locker room this year. That was really nice. Yeah. Don't always get that in a visiting game. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, and, but the the football team is being far less hospitable. Yeah. Uh, forcing a couple of turnovers. Uh, South Woodby has two interceptions. Um, one on the third play of the game, a pick uh, on Dylan Roberson. Yeah, so two interceptions for Roberson tonight. Yeah, on a team that doesn't pass very often. No, but I think both those plays, you know, you saw pressure, not good blocking, and it kind of puts you in a position where you're trying to force that play to happen. So Yeah, Wolverines aren't known to be a passing team, and so the pass blocking isn't something that they practice uh, a whole lot. So uh, he, he's been flushed out of the pocket going to his left. Yeah, so he's throwing across his body. Yeah, yeah. So, so that makes it, uh, he's not able to get the zip on the ball and have the true trajectory for a pass. Uh, one of his passes earlier uh, had the receiver open, but he was under pressure. Uh, threw yeah. the ball a little bit long. Yeah, the incomplete pass over here. That yeah. was actually a good route, a good play. It was just two yards off from happening. And Roberson was shaken up as he was under yeah. heavy pressure. And so he wasn't able to get uh, the timing down on that. He had to release it earlier, which uh, made it a little bit flatter. We, yeah. You know, he would have liked to see a little bit more air under it so his receiver could run under it. But the Wolverines nevertheless trail 20 to nothing. We're going to let you listen to the band. See if you can figure out this song. And that song, I believe, was Happy. Yes, it was. By Dave Chappelle. Dave Chappelle. <laughs> no, it was, uh, I'm trying to think of, of the singer's name. Um, <laughs> no, I'm, it's, now you're blanking me out because you said Dave Chappelle. That's all I can think about. I'm happy, I want to see Dave Chappelle sing that. <laughs> <laughs> um, my goodness. I, I can't think of the, of because he has a, he has a, a, a long, yeah, and it begins with a C, I think. Okay, Siri, who sings happy? Okay, Siri, who sings happy? Okay, Siri doesn't like me out here at South Whidbey. It's too loud. Who sings happy? Charm, no. Oh. I'm completely stumped on this one. Okay, if it was 80s, I could get pretty much anybody, uh, rocker or not, Cindy Lauper all the way down to Def Leppard. I could get pretty much any 80s song. Even some rap from the Fat Boys, Run DMC. I could get all that stuff, but um, Pharrell Williams. For I knew it was a big long. That's a, that's a C all the time. Pharrell Williams. Yeah. <laughs> Charlotte. Uh, yeah. Anyway, so get me on '80s music trivia, not uh, anything past the year 2000. Still no Wolverines. Wolverines are going to make the refs come and get them from the locker room. They've got a lot to talk about, trailing 20 to nothing. What is your message in the locker room, John? Uh, I think you're, you're trying to just settle everybody down and say, hey, let's just keep it simple. You know, we're, we're, a, we're a better team than this. We just need to execute. You know, just, just do your job, and it's all going to fall into place. If you do your job and the next guy does his job, it'll settle into place. You know, because that's kind of what's happening now is a few guys that are out of position, not quite doing their job, and and that's the thing. If you start doing your job, it's going to settle in. Like I said, I don't. We already said they're not really being outplayed. It's and just, they have to have the eye of the tiger. Is that what that is? Yeah. Oh, I got it now. It didn't sound like it at first. But yeah, I I think that's the message. Is, is let's just go out, execute. Do your jobs. It's going to fall into place. And the way I mean, that it's three scores. Yeah, and so. the way that the scheme is drawn up, um, it, it, it takes trust in uh, the guy next to you that you trust that he's going to do his exactly. job. And so that that is a very big part of the system that Brock Hauk has designed defensively. We should be seeing the Wolverines come out of the locker room. 
Well, I don't even see the uh, official. Maybe they, maybe they got the fairy alert. And <laughs> well, here they come. I still don't see the There we go. Though. Still going to have those guys. Yeah, no sideline crew. Yeah. No officials. Okay, John, what is this song? Mm. Oh, you're killing me. Like, not even in that mental frame to do that. I have no, I know the song, but I have no idea what it's called or who. And uh, still no sideline crew, John. Well, the Ching guys are over there. Oh, they are? There they are. Here's the officials. Oh, there we, there we go. Okay. Wolverines. Long lunch. Yeah. <laughs> I was afraid the Wolverines got a ferry alert that we didn't. No. And we're no. heading to the ferry already. Wolverine Sports on Friday Harbor Tiny TV is presented by Browns Home Center, the island's only full-service building supply center, Banner Bank, Blade Resurrection, Island Petroleum Services, Star Excavation and Septic, Pacific Rim Insulation. Miller Drywall, San Juan Surveying, Friday Harbor Electric, Haley's Bar and Grill, Geyser Appliance Repair, Lemon Computers, Friday Harbor Dentistry. And we are just getting warmed up. I think they're probably going to put three minutes back on the clock over there, John, because um, they'll usually run along the half be, with homecoming anyway. So it was a it was a long halftime yeah. because of homecoming, yeah. but I have a feeling that we're going to see three extra minutes put onto the clock because neither team has really gotten uh, full warm-ups. Officials haven't come over to the scoreboard and tell, told them what to do yet. And, John, do you know who the Friday Harbor's new band director is? You know, I, I had did my parent-teacher thing back to school night, and I cannot remember his name. All right, Martin, I know that you're watching the game. I'm not going to attempt your last name. But, oh, yep, see, they put three minutes on the clock. Martin, uh, send me a text. Uh, let me know, or Fred, uh, one of you, I know you're watching. So send me a text and let us know who the new band director is. John, we talked uh, at the uh, Seton Catholic game about how the Wolverines come back. Wolverines uh, started with the ball. They will be kicking off. Uh, kick it deep. Uh, give them a lot of green to defend. Or do you create an extra possession by trying to get an onside kick? Um, I kind of feel like kicking it deep. They're in the sun. I mean, the South Whitby's going into the sun. So I think you kick it deep and you just try to work it work it from there with the defense. Passing will be harder. Make them run the ball more. Yeah. Which are, we're better at stopping the, the run. The sun is going to be directly. Yeah, that's what I'm uh, thinking. Directly in their eyes. Yeah, that's They're, why I think just kick it, kick it deep. Long shadows cast. I mean, those are 20-foot shadows off of these. So that that's you're right. The sun has to be right in the quarterback's eyes. And you're going to get maybe. So if you're going to start to make a, a run at this, yeah. I think it comes from defending it's a long deep, field. The defense, you have to come out and make a stop right here. Velasquez has a big leg, yep. and he can bury them deep. We really haven't gotten to see uh, that leg on, on any of the kickoffs because the Wolverines received the kickoff to start the game and did not score. So 
Um, you know, we get to see him probably to start Victor Velasquez. That will do it for our Lemon Computer Halftime Show. Swag. 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 Boy, they chose really optimal spots for those posts. We're gonna you have to look at <laughs> South Whidbey, Friday Harbor. Well, it's twenty feet. <laughs> Every twenty feet. Or, or is it thirty feet? Yeah, it's thirty. John and his we're eyeballing it. It's, it's classic architecture right here. Uh, I, I was going to say. No, no load-bearing cantilever here. We're going straight up posts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, that's true. That's what it is. Uh, and that's why we are presented by Brown's Home Center, the island's only full-service building supply center. John's spewing that knowledge. To try right, to get around. So it looks like the Wolverines are about ready to kick. If they can figure out they got the right number of people on the field. Velasquez will kick for the Wolverines back deep. For the Falcons, I can't identify who they are. I think it's uh, 14 and 20, if I'm reading numbers right. There's the kick, and it's a ground ball. Bouncy, bounce, bounce. So we're back to the missed tackle. Missed tackle, we're going to be on the 40, it looks like. The Falcons will start their first drive of the second half at their own 40-yard line. Sixty yards to defend. S staring at the sun will be the Falcon offense. All right, Wolverines showing a three-man front. Got a single back with two wings. Here's a snap. Going to the far wing, he's coming across the line. Gate of three on the play. Three yard pickup on that play. Again, if you're just joining us, Wolverines trail 20 nothing at the start of the third quarter. We are in South Whidbey. Falcons up to the ball. Looks like we're going shotgun pistol formation here. Two wide receivers on the far side. There's the snap, and it's a quick handoff up the middle. And gets through the first level defense and is almost there. He's tackled by Dylan Roberson. Gain of looks like 11 yards on the play. Across the 50 down to the Wolverine 45-yard line. That's good for a Falcon. All right, so they get the ball set. Wolverines makes a substitution on defense. And we're in, Falcons are up to the ball. We're going uh, pistol formation again. Uh, two wide receivers on the near side. There's a handoff right up the middle. Met immediately by some Wolverines. Looks like he's going to get maybe one or two on the play. Tackled him forward for a, <laughs> for a gain. Yeah, for a gain. Or quickly two. under oh, center. Yeah, and we're going for a quick snap here. Pistol formation again. There's the snap. Another quick handoff. They're going around the far edge this time. Uh, just missed the tackle and caught from behind uh, almost on the first down marker. Who was that with that tackle from uh, behind? We're going to see there. It looks like, I think I'm going to say that's Wiley McCutcheon. No, it's not. I'm trying to think of who has the speed to catch someone uh, from behind like that. Like, does that look like number 16 to you or is that number 10? Couldn't tell. Oh, there we go. That, oh. uh, that helps even more. I'll get back to you on that number. <laughs> I, I, I know exactly which player it was. I just can't tell who it was. The six and a zero look a lot alike on those jerseys. So it's going to bring up a second and 11. Two-yard loss on that play because uh, they will mark it off from where the hold occurred. I want to say it was uh, Nathan Posen to chase that down. All right, Falcons up to the ball. Looks like we're going to go shotgun with a wing and a pistol formation. And here's the snap. He's going to roll to our toward us. The ball is in the air. Deep pass. Caught by number 11. Tackled by Dylan Roberson. 
And we're like, it's like they're down on the two yard line, I want to say. Here's giving up that big pass we talked about. That was hopefully something that wasn't going to happen. It was, the sun was in the quarterback's eyes, not the receivers. That's true. Uh, looks like he knew exactly where he was going with that. He didn't even bother looking anybody off. That was something that you could tell that they have worked yeah. on because that was the timing. He took three steps uh, to his right and hucked it and uh, waited for a receiver to run under it. Well, that was right to the pylon, too. All right, so we're under center here with uh, one, step, one back behind him. Here's the snap, man in motion, and they're going right up the gut to the man in motion, and it looks like they got the touchdown. Oh. See what they signal Need, there? There we go. There's the signal. So a three-and-a-half-minute drive there to start. Excuse me, two-and-a-half-minute drive to start the third quarter for the Falcons. They go 60 yards on about six plays. Uh, one, two, three, four plays, John. Yeah, that big pass, that was it. I gotta have defense. All right, the Wolverines are up to the ball. See uh, what the Wolverines can do. Looks like we got Wiley McCutcheon out here at wide receiver. There's Klein in motion. Hand off to the deep back, which I think was Connor Haynes, because it looked like Gustafson was blocking. So who calls up with the ball? Looks like yep, about a six Connor yard Haynes. gain. All right, Wolverines are up to the ball. Roberson under center. There's Klein in motion. And the snap, handoff back to Klein, back the other way, gets the first down. Solid run for like five or six yards. Is that Klein? Yep, that was Klein there. So he was going across in motion. He immediately turns around and takes the handoff and kind of comes back the other way. So theoretically, you're catching the defense heading the other direction, so you're kind of running counter to them. Sometimes referred to as a running against the grain. Yes. Here's Roberson in her center. No motion from Klein. Direct handoff to Gustafson. He gets about three, maybe four yards. See where they spot that. I think they're going to spot him short. So maybe three yards. <laughs> It's like Jack Mason going off. Got a sub going in there in his place. Mason down on one knee. His parents are over there shading their eyes, trying to see what's going on with their son down below. 
Actually, they have two sons on the field. One's on the sideline. Yep, one's coaching. Here are the Wolverines up to the ball. Roberson under center. Klein in motion. Here's the handoff to Connor Haynes. Looks like he gets about four on the play before he's thrown backwards. Maybe three. Stood up and dropped on that one. But a good looking run. So, I'd like to see him lower his shoulders just a little bit. Yeah. It's like Low man wins on that. So third and three for the Wolverines. Back up to the line in a hurry. Roberson under center. Motion from Klein. Here's the snap. Hand off to Gustafson. He's coming up the other side. Gets stopped short of the line. He was way up top with his body. and they It's going to be close. Pushed him right over. They may measure. Yeah, no, they're not going to measure this. It's not that close. It's going to be fourth and one. Fourth and a long one. No. Oh. Wait a minute. <laughs> what are we doing here? They're going to give him a first down. All right, whatever. Okay. You saw that at home. <laughs> I think that they got the notification that the check cleared. I'm just kidding. Just kidding. All right, here comes the snap. Klein in motion. They're going to hand off to Haynes. He's going up the middle for a gain of two or three. Depends where they spot this ball. It's maybe like two. Yeah, second down. I can't. Have you seen that before? No. <laughs> that was weird. That was like uh, the vibration went off on his watch, checked it. Oh, the check cleared. <laughs> I mean, I, I can't explain that. All right, Wolverines are up. Roberson under center. Uh, no motion from Klein. There's a toss to Haynes. He's coming around our side, gets immediately hit, breaks through for a little bit, maybe a yard on the play. So that's going to look up second and six, maybe? Third and six, third, sorry, third yeah. and six. They will give him a yard on the carry. So we'll get a third down and six, or a really long five, which we ever want to slice that. Uh, another substitution for the Wolverines there. I didn't see who went off and who came on. Looks like... Yeah, and see who changed out there. So they're on this side of the field, this side of the hatch. Roberson under center. Klein in motion. Here's the snap. It's going to go to, oh, it's a pass. Little bootleg out to Klein. He spins, and he's short of the first down uh, by about, I would say, two yards. So we're going to be fourth and two. Klein with the reception, and you can see it right down the line here. Yep. Yeah, you're right in the spot there. Fourth and two. All right, so we got the long side of the field toward us. We'll see if the Wolverines work with that. Uh, they're up to the ball. Roberson under center. Let's see if we get some motion. There's Klein in motion, and it's uh, going right up the middle. It's like Connor Haynes got the first down. It got up to the 40 before they put him down. Wolverines are Move now into maybe one of the deepest drives of the day. Well, it's consistent yardage they're getting now. They're not, they haven't had any zero yard plays, so that's good. No penalties. No penalties. So here the Wolverines are out of the ball. Roberson under center. See if we get some motion here. No motion. There's a handoff to Haynes. He's going around the far side, makes a little dance, gets two yards on the play, maybe Put, three. Puts his hand on the lineman, let him know that he's back there, yeah. and keep clearing. I'm going to say two yards on the play. So second and eight. Second and eight. And because of the way the sun is hitting the field, John, you can really see the curvature. Oh, yeah. And it's got, actually got a low spot over there, too. It goes up, and then it goes. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so the Wolverines are up to the ball. There, let's see if we get some motion here. No motion again. Now there's offsides. That'll be a little five-yard booster for the Wolverines. There you go. Brings up second and two on the penalty. Wolverines back there quickly with the play call. 
the entire line jumped, so. Yeah, it must have been a hard count there. All right, Wolverines are quick to the ball. Roberson's under center, looks around. Quick snap, there it goes, right to Gustafson. I'm not sure how far he got, no, he got the first down. Pretty close at least. He's right on the, yeah, it's right on looks the line. Looks like a leg cramp down. on one of the Falcons, the, the way Falcon. he's down there. Is that a wing cramp then? <laughs> <laughs> He's going to come off and stretch that baby out and get some water. Take these cramping wings. <laughs> First and 10 for the Wolverines, just shy of the 30, so we're probably on like 31. Wolverines are doing a little more thought on this play. I kind of like to see that hustle play. He's getting up there and running them, especially with a clock that's running, or running out, I should say, not running at the moment. It's harder to score when you get to run the ball than when you pass the ball. All right, we're going to have an official intervention. What's going on here? That was weird. All right, looks like we're ready to play now. Applying in motion. There's the handoff to Haynes. He's following his blocker. Gets almost to the outside. I would say gain of five on that play. Good leg drive. Yeah, they're going to mark him a five-yard pick up on that play so you said it chunk after chunk after chunk they're not looking for the home run and there's quick play right here we're going right to the ball here's the snap uh guffs us in that time nice good long run looks like another easy first down for the wolverines so we're just uh, about the 17 we're going right to the ball again it's like the wolverines are going to hurry up move it back a little bit to the 18 here's the snap Uh, hand off to Haynes going around the outside edge. It's got a nice long run. Got grabbed on the horse collar area, but no flag. And looks like he got the first down again. Wolverine's best drive of the day. Is that a first down? Do they, no, they've marked him short. So we're going to be second and two, it looks like. So he can really crack open the playbook here. <laughs> <laughs> Well, so then if it's working, just keep going back to it. If I get any closer to this guy next to me, I'd have to hire him for as a cameraman. All right, here goes the snap. Uh, no motion again. Toss to Haynes to the left side. He cuts up, gets the first down. So we're going to be looking at first and goal on the six-yard line of the Falcons. Oh, you're fine, sir. <laughs> 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 it's the poles. <laughs> All right, so the Wolverines are coming up to the ball. Uh, very efficient uh, drive, not a lot of time wasted in the huddles. It's kind of nice to see. I think that keeps uh, the Falcons off guard. Here goes Klein in motion. And here's the handoff to Gustafson right up the middle. And he's fighting, 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 fighting. Piles pushing. It looks like he's in. There's a touchdown for the Wolverines. Gustafson. Gustafson with the touchdown, a six-yard carry right there. And that drive started at their own 24-yard line, I believe, John. Yeah, good solid uh, drive. They took, o took over possession at 936, so they ate up eight about minutes. eight minutes, a uh, little less than eight minutes uh, of the game clock. So, so here's uh, Victor Velasquez for the extra point. And looks like we're gonna we're still discussing the official. There we go. Looks like we're ready for the snap. Here's the snap, the kick. It's up, and it looks like it's good. There you go. So Falcons 27, Wolverines seven. They're off the zero there. Got some points. So nice, efficient drive from the Wolverines. Uh, I kind of think the hurry up needs to be our thing the rest of the game. Personally, <laughs> that is keeping it. Oh, that would have been a loss, too. Well, we're on to the fourth quarter.
Oh, good stop. That was a good stop. And we are back. I uh, had a, a lightning strike and a power outage here. <laughs> <laughs> That's my story, and I'm sticking to it, John. Sure. Uh, Wolverines went in to score. The Falcons have had a couple of big plays, aided by a 15-yard face mask penalty. They have moved, the Falcons have moved the ball down to the 37-yard line of the Wolverines, where they have second and 33, third and seven. All right. So South Whippy's under center. I uh, got uh, man in motion there. Here comes the snap, and it's a uh, rollout pass to the right. Wide open receiver. Uh, breaks the first tackle. Uh, breaks the second tackle, and he's in for the score. Oh, I think they're going to say he stepped out. Yep, he's, he's marked him out of bounds on the nine-yard line. Wolverines whiffed on a couple of those tackles right there. Oh, uh, you betcha. But uh, you got to be able to put your foot in the ground and make guys miss. They didn't just miss on their own. Uh, Good-looking run there. Not going to take anything away from Number 24, the Falcons. In with Blay is the quarterback. All righty. So the Falcons to the line of scrimmage here. Looks like we're going to go under center again. I formation. And here comes the snap. And he's going to hand off to the first back. And he gets to the line and gets, looks like, four yards on the play. Maybe five. Five. Five yards of the play. Back down here to my, my new best friend. We are literally in with the Falcon fans right here. Sir, do you have a son in there? Uh, in the band, okay. All right, here are the Falcons to the ball. We're in I formation again with the... First back really close into the quarterback, and then it's going to go to the deep back, and they hand off to him, and he skirts through to the edge. So a touchdown, Falcons, number 20. That's uh, Eric Hogan. Wolverines have had trouble uh, bringing number 20 down. Hogan's a, a big back. I don't know how big he is, but um, he's given the Wolverines trouble today. 175. How tall? Uh, it says he is 5'10". All right, so... And then he's going to go and kick the extra point. And it's a high snap, and it's hard to tell from this angle. I think it's good. Then it's H-H-S, F-H-H-S, go Wolverines. Wolverines fight or something like that. Sorry, Stacy, I messed that up completely. John, it's going to be a strange ferry ride going home without Stacy Root on the ferry. <laughs> We're not going back tonight, but that's one of the few times, uh, I don't know if she's ever missed a game since I've been around. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think she has. Here's the kickoff for the Falcons. A uh, little short kick right in the middle. Someone needs to pick that up because that is a live ball after all. Here's a good run back here from uh, Nathan Posenjack. He's got a one man behind him and they got him on the Looks like the Falcons 25, so excellent run back by Nathan Posenjack. And the way he landed on him, uh, it's a cramp. Yeah, he, he cramped up there. How, how many Wolverines does it take to help a cramp? Yeah. 
Um, good looking return right there. He yeah. picked the ball up and he didn't bother trying to make a cut. He ro nope. ran, ran right through the, the middle of that defense. Just run those lanes. That's all you got to do. Yeah, just got to stretch that baby out. Uh, both of them. That's Brock out there <laughs> uh, trying to give him that stretch. Bozenjack had that uh, that re fumble recovery in uh, in the home game. Yep. Um, was our player of the game? I'm trying to think of who that was against. Home game or road game? Home game. Uh, well, we oh wait, no, 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 you're right. It was it was against no, it was Seton, Seton Catholic. Catholic. Yeah, Seton that's Catholic. right. Our home so. our home road game that we home, yes that we weren't the home team for, <laughs> apparently. Yeah, it was really hard to. Uh, get used to the Wolverines in that road uniforms that were the home jerseys. Yes, it was confusing. Well, still stretching. And, John, this is one of those days, it's sort of like when you're up skiing, that... Um, it gets cold quick. Well, <laughs> it, 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 but, and, and so you don't notice that, yeah. you're, you're, that you haven't been doing your drinking. You're out on the field a lot. Yeah. And so you're not taking on as much water. Yep, got to drink lots of water. And so these cramps on a big run like that, that might be the biggest play of the game for the Wolverines. And so you, you haven't been drinking the water. You've been, uh, he's probably been on the field the entire game. Yeah, I think he's, he's, had, he's had a fair amount of snaps today. Well, are we going to decide it's a cramp or not? Yeah, just pick him up and carry him off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and um, this this is I got a message from Stacy Rude. Um, this is definitely one of the only games I have missed in the last nine years I have been coaching. And Stacy, if, if you missed us at halftime, we were talking about how uh, you don't just coach the girls uh, how to cheer, but you do a lot more than that for the program. You're going to be greatly missed here, this being your last year's from what we're hearing. Um, you have uh, a lot of great girls, but you also have an academic state championship to your credit as well. So that goes to those things that go uh, outside, of, uh, of foot or see, outside of football and basketball. So, you know, you, you mean a lot to this Wolverine program and, um, you know, we'll, we'll definitely miss you on the ferry uh, going home tonight. So one of the very few times. This is a long stretch. A long stretch. Um, yeah. We don't want to go away. It's one of those ones where you got to get the electrolyte challenge. And Susie Lefever is not down there. No. Uh, this is one of the few games I have not seen her at um, if she's traveling. Well, they got, went to get something there. It's like a water bottle. I'm going to give them some water on the field. The team will go over to the sideline. Wolverine Sports on Friday Harbor Tiny TVs presented by Browns Home Center, the island's only full-service building supply center by Banner Bank. And I'm trying to get, here it is. By Island Petroleum Services, Star Excavation and Septic, Pacific Rim Insulation, Miller Drywall, San Juan Survey, Friday Harbor Electric, elect, uh, Haley's Bar and Grill, Geyser Appliance Repair, Lemon Computers, Friday Harbor Dentistry, American Legion, Farmers Insurance and the Tampa Cotton Agency, Purple and Gold Booster Club, Blade Resurrection Sharpening Service, BladeResurrection.com, and by Banner Bank. Uh, Dylan Posenjack still down. Nathan. Nathan. Sorry, I called his brother's name for about 18 years, it seems. Uh, Nathan is down. They have lowered his leg. When it's up, that's usually uh, a sign that it is a hammy. But the way they're working on it now, it looks like it's a calf. So, you know, th this is um, somebody else is coming out here. I think it's the trainer for South Whidbey. And they're trying to decide if it's really hurt or if it's a strain. All right, looks like he's going to get up. Here we go. Oh, uh, yeah. doesn't want to put weight on it. That on the, I don't think we got a little more than a screen here. I think it could be a little more serious.
Yeah. Biggest play of the game for po for the Wolverines is that Posenjack kickoff return. He took it all the way down to, I think they're going to spot the ball at the. I, I thought it was on the 25. Yeah, about 25, 20, 26 yard line of the Wolverines. Uh, we'll see if your wife can get us an update on him. Monitor from the sideline over there, our sideline reporter. <laughs> yeah, she's way up there in the bleachers. We've got to get someone closer. Maybe she has better eyesight than us. Well, I mean, mm -hmm. the way they were treating it, it did look like a sprain, but that that's not looking uh, like a sprain now. Well, it's it's looking like well, the way that, that um, the, the defender jumped up on top of him you know, it looked like it could have been more, but the way that they were stretching, it may have been two different things. Yeah. Because they switched from where his leg was straight up, where right. he's quickly out of, with no Here's huddle. Roberson under center. And here comes the snap with Klein in motion. And they're going to hand off to Gustafson. He's going to move the pile quite a bit. Still going. Looks like almost a gain of eight or nine. See where they mark this ball at. <laughs> A true pile driver. Yeah, I think they gave him nine on that play. So they're going to be just short of the first down. So it should be a second to one to go. I'm going to start dodging poles here so I can see what's going on. All right, Wolverines coming to the ball. Uh, Roberson under center. And there's the snap. Handoff to Haynes. And I think he got the first down. Looks pretty close. Looks like they're going to mark it for a first down. Cody Anderson. Okay. Oh, sorry, that was Cody Anderson was in. Sorry about that. I saw a different running style yeah, there because he lowered say, his shoulder. He looked a little different. So uh, Cody Anderson is in at the halfback, and uh, Guffs is in behind him. So it's more like he's fullback, but he's not the fullback. <laughs> Here's Klein in motion. They're going to hand off to Gustafson. He goes around the edge a little bit, gets kind of wrapped up with some Falcons, and I think he got a gain of two on the play. They're going to give him two and a half, yeah. three yards over there. It's pretty close. We'll say a, we'll, they're going to they have second and eight on the board here. I think I'm going to I like that call too. Clock is under 8:40 to go in the game. Wolverines trail 34 to seven. All right, so here we are at the snap. Uh, no motion. This Oh, there goes Klein in motion, and it's a handoff to Gustafson again. He's going right up the gut. Uh, still on his feet, moving forward. There's the ball. Is out at the end. Looks like the Falcons are on it. We'll see if they rule him down or if they're going to rule a turnover. Looks like they're, like they're going to give the ball to the Falcons, so a turnover right before the goal line. I think on the one-yard line, so bummer for the Wolverines there. It looked like they were heading in for the touchdown. They fumbled on the one-yard line, so Falcons first and ten on their own one. So here's the Wolverines on defense. The Falcons just hand off right up the middle. Don't get very far at all. Maybe back to the line of scrimmage. They need to get back to the line of scrimmage or it's a safety. <laughs> well, you can go a little less. There's a little bit of room there. And I can see... Posen Jack. I don't know if his parents came with him, John. Yeah, they're over there. They're over there, okay. He is laying down. They're not wrapping or icing, which tells me it is cramps, but Probably it's some cramps. pretty severe cramps. Yeah. Here's the snap. Handoff right up the gut again. So gain of Three on the play, maybe four. It's just, just inside the five-yard line. Wolverines turned the ball over at the goal line. Gustafson about to go in for a touchdown to cut the deficit 
to uh, a three score game. Turn the ball over, Wolverines. A lot of green to defend right here. Yeah, <laughs> pretty long field. Wolverines come up with a stop. They still so can get the ball with a lot of time on the clock. Like third and seven to go for Falcons here. Um, looks like they're going one man back. There's the snap, and there's the handoff, and he goes around the far side. Gets a couple yards over there, but stops on the clock at the five-yard line. Wolverines did a good job of stringing that play yeah. out, not really giving up much ground. So fourth and six to go for the Falcons. And the down marker didn't move at all. It's going to be a punt for the Falcons. I don't see anybody. Oh, there we go. Number 21 is going back to punt. It's not number 20 that's punting and kicking off and kicking and running <laughs> for scores. It's number and, 21. And Back for the Wolverines. Here's the quick punt, and it's kind of short. It's caught by McCutcheon. He's running the ball up. Gets to the 18-yard line, it looks like. And Posenjack is up. Oh, good. That's good. He's on his feet. So it's going to be first and 10 for the Wolverines on the Falcons' 18-yard line. Wolverines can... Take it down to a three-score game if they can get a touchdown here. I'm sure we're going to see an onside kick, John, uh, if the Wolverines can punch oh, this I'm, one in. I'm sure we'll see that. Wolverines quickly up to the line. All right, so here's uh, Roberson in center. Looks like Cody Anderson is still at uh, running back. Klein and Pearson motion, and then here's the handoff to Gustafson. He's going trying to go around the outside, but they track him down for a gain of, I want to say, four on the play. Just can't get to the outside edge there. Tried a bunch of times. And number 11 limps off for the Falcons. Yeah, quarterback's going in this place. All right, Wolverines up to the ball. Roberson under center. Klein in motion. Here's the handoff to Gustafson up the middle. He heads down. Protects the ball. Hangs on to the ball. Gets uh, inside the five-yard line down to about the four. Wolverines have first and goal maybe on the three. I think they, well, yeah, they kind of moved it again, didn't they? I think it kind of still looks like the four. But. I was watching where the line judge over here backed out. Yeah. Yeah, but if you look where the ball's set, that doesn't look like the same place. Yeah. But yeah, whatever. <laughs> Just need All to right, score. Wolverines are back up to the ball. Roberson in her center. Uh, it's Klein in motion. And here's the snap. Handoff to Anderson. And looks like he's in for the touchdown. Wolverines with their second touchdown. Pending the extra point. It is now 35, excuse me, 34-13. And we're going to have um, Velasquez in for the extra point. No need to go for two right here. Or, nope. Roberson to hold for Velasquez. 4.52 to go. Here's the snap. And the kick is up, and it looks good. There we go. I can't wait till there's a game decided <laughs> on a goal? Velasquez field goal because be cool. I've been hearing that he can hit it from 40 with, uh, fairly consistently. Yeah, I, I've heard that too. So uh, those extra points, he is money uh, on those. And I think Stinkholk was Wolverine's last true uh, consistent um, extra point kicker. Oh, we had that kid a couple years ago. Um, that was his name. I think he went and kicked in D2 or something. Oh, huh. um, oh yes. You're right. Oh, and uh, Mary Alvarado's son, she is the uh, manager. At <laughs> How could I even forget about that? Um, yeah, he's kicking down at Division Two in Arizona. Yeah. Um, that's right. So I, I, I know you're listening, uh, Mary, so I apologize for completely <laughs> spacing on that one. But... Um, 
Let's see, Wolverine Sports on Friday Harbor Tiny TVs presented by Browns Home Center, the island's only full service building supply center, Island Petroleum Services, Star Excavation and Septic, Pacific Rim Installation, Miller Drywall, San Juan Surveying, Friday Harbor Electric, Haley's Bar and Grill, Geyser Appliance Repair, Lemon Computers, Friday Harbor Dentistry, American Legion, Farmers Insurance and the Tammy Cotton Agency, Purple and Gold Booster Club, Blade Resurrection Sharpening Service, BladeResurrection.com, Banner Bank. 34-14, a three-score game for the Wolverines. Wolverines set to kick off. Alvarez to kick off for the Wolverines. It's like an onside kick from the Wolverines, but it is not. They kick the ball up. It bounces down to the 25 where a Falcon jumps on it. So well, actually, that's a fairly decent kick if you're going <laughs> to... Yes, that, that, if, if you could uh, write it up, um, you know, recovering an onside kick is is fairly rare, and I think yeah. if you kick it to a spot like that, you can kind of catch it off guard where there's no return. So It was Yosef. Yosef. Yosef Alvarado. I don't know if that's his last name, but that was who was kicking the ball a couple years ago. Okay, yeah. yes. Yes, I, and his, his, his mother works at the bank as the bank manager. All right, so here's the ooh, quick handoff and a quick tackle for the Wolverines. With Jack Mason with the tackle. Nobody was fooled on that one. That backside pursuit from Mason, he didn't need to seal the edge on that one. Just came in and chased that play down from behind. No gain on the play. So a couple substitutions for the Wolverines. Off goes uh, the, the <laughs> German. <laughs> uh, exchange student. Yes, he goes by TJ. I apologize for forgetting his name. Wolverines bury the play in the backfield. So the Falcons right now are playing ball security, yep. and they will punt the ball away up by three scores. It's only third down, though. They're not gonna right, play, but they're, they're playing the ball, ball secu yeah. but, but they're playing for ball security and to punt the ball. So, you know, nothing in the air, uh, nothing that is going to expose the ball, protect the ball, get as many yards. If you take the loss, you take the loss. Uh, they want to keep the clock running. Uh, no passes for an incompletion or an interception. It's Martha's nephew. Martha's nephew. Yes. All right, so those Falcons at the ball under center, they do a quick handoff. They fake. They go to the... Little screen pass to the side, and he is tackled out of bounds. Service pass is complete. So that's going to be a five-yard, six-yard gain there. And that will bring up a punt fourth at about seven. Yeah. It's They're like going to put up seven on the scoreboard. Wolverines will put Roberson back to return. A nice return, though, last time by... Bozen Jack. That was on the kickoff. <laughs> I'm trying to think of. Um, the punt was, wasn't that Posen Jack? That was kickoff. Who was? The that was kickoff return. Who was the other one that just had a big return? Posen Jack on the kickoff. But there was another return on a punt, wasn't there? No. Well, Wiley had that kickoff return. We haven't, that, really, we, haven't, we haven't really had a good punt return. It's all been kickoff returns we've seen. They've only punted the ball like twice, the Falcons. 2.28 to go in the fourth quarter. The Falcons were happy to run the play clock all the way down because it killed the game clock as well. The Wolverines will take over the ball with under 2.20 to go in the game, trailing a 34-14. Um, John, the Wolverines, you know, we, we, we talk about it. Uh, they're down three scores. But they're trying to find a way to scratch out, um, scratch out a touchdown right here, and then I think we will see an onside kick. Because I oh, think yeah. that's I think that that's what they the Wolverines were hoping that they could come up with a stop, um, and score, and then create another possession, get it down to a, a more respectable margin. Yeah, well, that's I, that's probably the plan. We'll see how this uh, this punt goes here. And Roberson will be the returner for the Wolverines. I 
I think they're not going to give me. They're just going to kick it out of bounds. They're not going to give him a chance to return it. I, I would be surprised if they did a straight up kick to him. Nope, they did it. I'm really surprised. Oh, he calls for a fair catch. Well, the guy's on top of them, and he dropped it. Oh, and the Falcons got the ball. Oh. Well, so we had a fair catch and a drop ball on the catch. It's like the Falcons have recovered the fumble. So that's going to give them first and 10 on the 35, 35 it looks like. Maybe just outside the 35, so. So first and 10 for the Falcons with uh, two minutes and 17 seconds remaining. All right, Falcons up to the ball. Can't really go victory formation uh, just got, yet. Uh, but our backup quarterback is in, number 17. He's going to take the snap and do a little toss right. And he's kind of off the races over there on the right side. Got around three Wolverines and is tackled down on the 12 with a late hit out of bounds on the Wolverines, it looks like. No flag. Yeah, there's a flag. Oh, there is. Oh, yeah. I saw him driving him into the ground. Yep, there's a flag right there. Yeah, and a play like that is kind of where sometimes you're going to get chippiness or a player injured. Yep, unsportsmanlike conduct on the Wolverines. So that's going to be half the distance from that spot. So that's going to probably put it on the seven or eight yard line. You give up the turnover, you give up a big run, you give up a personal foul, and it's back out to. Uh, uh, Big All right, margin. so it's going to be first and goal for the Falcons. Uh, number 17 is still in at quarterback. He's going to take the snap. He's tossing left, right up through the middle for number 21, and I don't know if he got in or not. I think they're going to rule him down on the one. How? Uh, number 21. There is a penalty is that's going to walk. McClure. They're going to walk backwards. There's no touchdown on the play. Looks like a holding call, yep. I guess. So nullify that run. That was Isaiah McClure. 2.02 to go. Wolverines trail 34-14. So now we're first and goal from the 18-yard line. And John, no longer shores for weather for most people. It's a little chilly. <laughs> I could have I sat some more in the sun. All right, so the Falcons are up on the ball. Number 17 still in. That's their backup quarterback. It looks like a backup running back, number nine, back there as well. Here's the snap, and it's going to be the number nine. He gets a short one- or two-yard gain. And I think after that penalty, I think uh, I think South Woodby is going to want to keep their players healthy. Yeah, just, just Number 20 is coming back in, though. He's coming back in. There he is. Still got number 17 in. He is – what is his name? He is – Josh Sturba. He is the junior. I think he's like kind of their backup QB. So getting some uh, snap time here with the last couple of minutes of the game. Was he a wide receiver as well? He is a wide receiver normally. He doesn't even list quarterback on the roster. It says wide receiver DB. All right, so. So is that a sig? Well, he's got two wide receivers to the left. Here comes the snap of the live formation. They give it to the deep back. He cuts up a little bit just inside the 15. So maybe they're going with ball security. Yeah, it's, that's the safe way, running up the middle. All right, so we're at uh, 54 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Falcons need to run probably one more play, and then it'll kind of ice out the clock. We're going to run this clock all the way down. I think it'll be at uh, 32 seconds when they have to snap. Yep. All right, so the Falcons up to the ball. Actually, we're going to do a shotgun. It's a pistol formation. we got two wide receivers on this side, one on the far side. And there's the direct snap to the running back. And the Wolverines chase him down. He gets about to the 15. Really, uh, maybe. That will be the final play of the game. 22, 20, 19, 18. Wolverines uh, will fall to South Whidbey again by a similar margin. Um, I don't remember the score last time, John. I do not as either. (laughs) 
But it was pretty similar. Yes. I think it was 27-17, Jinkle Stadium. Stadium is where we are at South Whidbey High School. Wolverines fall 34-14. We will have a very brief blade, resurre- blade restoration, resurrection, one of those two, uh, dot com uh, postgame show. We're going to talk very briefly, John, about the game, and then we're going to... Uh, Head out. Um, player of the game. I mean, Posen Jack or... That was a good return. I, I yeah, would say that. That's um, definitely the, the play of the game. Yeah. But Gustafson... I think Gustafson, he consistently was running the ball well, had some good yardage. Yeah. Um, that just, you know, that little fumble in the end, just before the end zone, you know, it, it's kind of a drag. It kind of maybe turned the game a little bit a yeah. little more in their favor. But he yeah. had a good running game today, so I'd have yeah. to say him. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, um, but the the Wolverines they they continue to play Wolverine football. Uh, four quarters uh, again, chippy at the end. Yeah. Um, sometimes that'll happen when the, the the margin is that big and they bounce one to the outside rather than trying to protect the ball. Yeah. Um, Wolverine Sports on Friday Harbor Tiny TVs presented by Browns Home Center, the island's only full service building supply center. Uh, by Lemon Computers, Blade Resurrection Sharp- Sharpening Service, BladeResurrection.com, Banner Bank, Purple and Gold Booster Club, Farmers Insurance and the Tammy Cotton Agency, American Legion, Friday Harbor Dentistry, Lemon Computers, Geyser Appliance Repair, Haley's Bar and Grill, Friday Harbor Electric, San Juan Surveying, Mil- Miller Drywall, Pacific Rim Insulation, Star Excavation and Septic, Island Petroleum Services, for John Volk with the play-by-play, Ken Norris, our on-site engineer, I'm Mike Martin. The final score of the Wolverines fall to South Woodby, 34-14. We'll see you next Friday when Friday Harbor takes on the Bellingham Red Raiders. Red Raiders. That was it. <laughs>